Hello. Give people a couple minutes. Hello from Germany. Fun. Hi. That's fun. Hi, Joni. Hi, Anne. So how are you today, Amber? I'm doing great. I'm great. How are you doing? Doing pretty good. You might hear me cough or sniffle throughout. Um, and I How's apologize your ankle for doing? My ankle's doing good. I got her all wrapped up. She's... <sighs> oh, good. Yeah, it looks like I dipped my foot into um, a bucket of Sharpie marker and I can't get it off. Like, that's the <laughs> color. I have a zombie foot. Yeah. Oh, yeah. that's the worst. Shockingly, it doesn't hurt that bad, which is almost a uh, downfall of it because I'm walking on it. And um, yeah, but my walking boot comes today. Actually, that's probably why the dogs barked a few minutes ago. It was probably delivered. Oh, yeah. How long do you have to have it wrapped up? Um, they said that they want the swelling to go down within a week. And if it doesn't, then I need to go back to see an ortho um, to make sure that there aren't any occult breaks, which I looked up today and that's hidden, which yeah. I thought that was a good uh, term for that, but <laughs> it's going to be fine. It's fine. I just twisted the crap out of it. Oh man. Yep. So today we're going to be selling the Juno. Oh yeah. Let me get, I'll get a completed one too. Oh yeah. I have mine right here. This is my test one. Yay. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to be using a number three zipper. What time, what type of zipper tape are you using? Number five. Okay, perfect. Okay. And I got yes. a little wristlet strap cut out. Are you using a D-ring rivet or are you going to put in a standard strap connector? I'm using a D-ring rivet. Perfect. Me too. A little mini guy. Yeah, they're so, they're so uh, convenient. They're my favorite. I put them on everything. I can put them on big bags. Yes. I put one on a bag the other day and tied a scarf through it for a bow. Just to. That's cute. Yeah. Little accent panel. Yeah, yeah. I love them on like the Paradigm or the Serona. They, as long as the rivet's set correctly, those things aren't going anywhere. No, they really aren't. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. So I got the number five today. I got this Perfect. zipper tape off Amazon. It is literally the best zipper tape I've ever used. Is it's it matte like... black coil? Yeah. And it's so smooth, like the glide. That's... Did you get your poles off Amazon too? Um, the, yeah, he came with like a big roll of tape with the matte black donut poles, you know, like the donut ones. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Awesome. Good to know. I've got, <coughs> okay, yeah. see what you're this, doing today. This, I've just got this little number three, this is from Waywack, And then I've got the mini donut or uh, pop tab pull from Lauren. Oh, I love those ones. So <coughs> they're my favorite pulls ever. If she had matte black, I would be um, using that today. Well, we, <laughs> can, uh, we can just harass her. There we go. I we mean, all love that. Yeah. Uh, so what are your materials that you're using? Well, speaking of Lauren, I'm just using black Lux. Okay. Um, I just really love it. I wanted something that I could just carry like an everyday wallet. So I thought this would be perfect. Oh, you're yeah. actually going to keep this wallet. You're not going to sell it. No. Nah, yeah. I'm going to keep it. Awesome. Yeah. This is a good wallet. It's a great everyday wallet. It really is. And I find myself always just taking like my phone and my wallet. And so I love this. This is perfect. Like, let's go to the store. I'm not really, isn't it funny? I don't really carry a bag as a bag maker. Um, I think it's very ironic. I as well, I have a major back problem. So unless it's a backpack, or yeah. like a fanny that I can, but I can't really have a cross body situation. Not for long no. anyways. I like to carry them, but it just, um, I'll end up putting it down somewhere. Yeah. And then, so this is going to be my lining. I just got this um, at Ooh. my local quilt shop. Love yeah. that. It's so cute. It was on the clearance table. I was like, sign me up. So that's what I'm doing. Cool. I pulled out um, some succulent cork out of my stash. This has been oh, so good. Um, decommissioned for years, but I have a tiny little roll left. And I thought, why not? And then I did a, I'm doing a multicolor situation with my card slots. I've got agave cork that. and olive. I love that. That's my scheme. It's so good. So good. Okay. And I have a pole. I don't know where this pole came from, though. I just have, like, a random... It's like a little pumpkin guy to match my... Oh, perfect. Yeah, you're, you're like, uh, pulling in Halloween early. Yeah, I love... I love Halloween. 
It's so. a good time of year. Yeah. Weather and all. That's right. So today we're going to be just sewing. Yeah. Uh, sorry to everybody too. I have a cough going on. I came home with an almost broken ankle and a cold from New Orleans. So I apologize in advance. <coughs> Excuse me. And we both have dogs. So deal with it. <laughs> just kidding. Yes. You will hear them barking. Yeah, same. And my dog, when your dogs were barking before we got on, then my dog was barking. Yeah, it's, I get a lot of comments like, oh, my dog's barked back to your dogs. <laughs> so I true. Can't, yep, I can't do anything about it. I try. Yeah. Trust me. Okay, okay gonna... so shall we get started? We shall. We have a question where we get our D-ring rivets from. From me. Yeah. Um, I sell them on my website. I put a link. I'm not sure which platform you're watching on, but if you pop over to mine or to um, just my website, there's a link or there's a link in my description, but they're on my website under the sewing supplies and notions tab. Yes. Perfect. Hi, Anne Marie. Hi, Carol. Carol said the same thing. She's never been a purse fan, but uh, funny. She just loves making them too. Yeah. I do. I just love it. Um, was, Karen. Oh, sorry. Just go ahead. No, no, no. I was just going to say, I was at the, uh, my quilt shop last night and like so many people, what do you, you know, everyone's always asking at the cut table, what do you make? I'm like, oh, I make bags. Oh my gosh. You should have seen people are like, oh no, I tried that once. I'm not doing that again. I'm like, oh, I just give it a shot. <laughs> You I think people are so intimidated because there's just so many different aspects to bag making. Like I was explaining to Brandon just last night because he was, we were just talking about how niche it is, but also how large of a market it is. And, um, you know, he's a tattoo artist and he's a skateboarder, of course, 41, 41 year old skateboarder. Yeah. My type of guy. <laughs> but, um, you know, he related everything to, his terms he's like so you're not baker skateboards you're whatever and he named the super niche brand and i was like yeah it's like what we do we like nerd out on threads and uh interfacings and all sorts of random stuff but it's a rabbit hole bag making it totally is in the best way but it is yeah all right hi ally catching us live awesome yeah amber was like let's go live at 7 a.m and i the look <laughs> on my face was pure shock um and i was appalled that she would even recommend that but i forgot that she's on the other coast so it worked yeah. out i'm west coast so funny also i didn't know that uh vegas was west coast i thought that you were peace or not not pacific so what's the the one oh, mountain. Mountain. yeah i thought that you were a mountain for some reason no, we're pacific yeah well, it's a good thing i'm a bag maker not um a map there's maker. not many things going on on this side of the world some might argue with that. Yeah, that's true. All right, so let's get her going. I want to start with my card panel. What do you want to start with? Um, I think I'll start there too. Okay. I'm just gonna get my instructions up. <clears throat> <coughs> you have like your pat. You must have it memorized, huh? Um, to yeah, to a certain degree. I definitely scanned the pattern this morning because it's been a minute since I've made one. You know, when you go so hard to release a pattern, that's the last thing you want to look at for a while. I bet. Yeah. Yeah. So I definitely scanned. I'm also notorious for writing patterns. And then when I do a live, my steps are so different. Yeah, because. Yeah. It, I watched your Triskel with Lauren before I sewed one. And I'm like, oh, okay. I was like, write notes. Mm hmm. Like, yeah. I definitely do things way out of order. I'm not sure. I, I'm not sure why I do that, why I don't just write the pattern in the way that I would make it, but this one I did try to, I did. Yeah, it flows, it flows great, I think. Every, so you, every time it gets better. What's that? You, you've prepped your pieces, right? Well, so I haven't attached my interfacing, my stabilizer. I'm gonna be using Craft Tex. And I haven't oh, attached mine yet, but I'm just gonna do double stick tape on mine. Okay, I did Jacqueville Heavy. That's what I did the last one. It worked good, but I should have tried. Oh, well. I do like Jacqueville Heavy. I always forget that I have it. I actually, I might switch over. Let me plug in my uh, thing. Because it's so much nicer when it's fully interfaced like that. Yeah. Oh, Mary, you're in North Las Vegas? Um, 
I might be, I'm trying to, I'm talking with the people at Quiltique in Henderson to teach a sewing class, a bag making class in their studio. They were open to it. I actually met somebody yesterday at my quilt shop uh, from Online World. That was surreal. Isn't it funny? Yeah, to go out. I don't know. I don't get like recognized where I live at all, but I will be at craft shows and I'll see my patterns. And I'm like, oh. Oh, yeah, that would be. I was at the cut table. And he's like, are you the crafty reporter? I'm like, yes, I am. I am. <laughs> yes, hello. What it's definitely a funny feeling. My grandmother was visiting from South Florida and she was up here in North Carolina with my uncle and they were at a craft fair and same thing. They saw my patterns and they were like, oh, that's my granddaughter. And I was like, this is so weird. <laughs> Hello. Oh, it was, it was weird. Me and my kids were with me. They're like, what? They're like, mom, are you famous? <laughs> yeah. They're like, no. Oh, well, Mary, you should come to my class when I do it. I'm going to do one this year. That'll be super fun. Do you I ever so. have aspirations to teach at like So Magical? Or I know that they do yes. like So Expos and stuff out there. The thing is with my job, I can't travel that much. And all that stuff is on the other side of the country usually. But Kayla, I was talking to her because they're going to do So Magical in Vegas this year. I was yes. like, I'm volunteering as a teacher. She's like, sold. That's going to be so fun. You'll love it. Yeah. I'm not. Finished. And the retreats are so much smaller. So it's a lot, uh, it's just a lot more intimate and it's a great way to like get your feet wet. Have you taught sewing classes before? No, I, I mean, no, I haven't. I, no, I mean, I was going to fun fact. So I went to college before I became a core reporter. I went to college to be an art teacher. Oh, you know, kind of, I always wanted to teach in a way. So. That's so fun. I always wanted to be an art teacher as well, but I was like, I'm never going to go to school for that long to get paid yeah. $45,000. Yeah, it is quite, I had the best art teacher in high school. I just loved her to pieces. Miss McCubbin. So I had Miss Britt. She was really great too. Yeah. All right. So now that I'm pivoting, I'm going to let my press heat up and then I'll get those interfaced. I do like the stability that Deck Wheel Heavy gives. I also think that it would be super fun to like, whenever you put the exterior and the lining together, you can quilt the flap and then quilt this bottom area before you add the card slots. And it would give it so much more structure with the heavy or the craft text on the inside. So maybe. Maybe I will do that spider web thing then. Oh. Yeah, you just have to do it like on the bottom. What would be the bottom section? Right. That's what I was going to do was going to do it down here. So when it's. Boop. Yeah. yeah, I might do that. So you're saying do that once we put the once we finish the co the zipper pocket and then put it all together. Yep. And then that's when we would add our quilting. OK, I'm going to do. Let's do it. OK, yeah. let's do it. That's it's fun. something that I've been thinking about doing. I've just never done it. So, hey, might as well. Right. Yeah. Um, Mary asked, do you know when So Magical in Vegas is going to be? I can't remember the dates on that one. I don't think that, um, she's said yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. She just announced that it was going to be out there. Yeah. I think she's still working out even where, because I was trying to work. I've set up conventions for the court reporters association here. I used to be the president. So I have a very familiar working knowledge of the convention scene here. So I was trying to like let her know, like, hey, if you need help, let me do for places. Cause you know, sometimes you think places might be good, but I'm like, oh, that's a bad one. That's yeah. Bad. Have you, are you a lifelong Ve Las Vegas? And what are you called? I think, uh, yes, I am. I was born and raised here. Oh, wow. Yeah. Las Vegas, I think it's how we. Las Vegas. So do you live, like, do you ever go to the strip? I mean, you live there. So probably not unless you have guests or something. Yeah, it's just a thing you visit when you, I mean, so the thing is, we have a local, we have all our local spots, you know, all your little honey holes throughout the valley that people on the strip wouldn't know about, but. Yep. Yeah, I can imagine living in, va living anywhere where people vacation can be um, taxing for sure. Yeah, but you know what? I, I do enjoy that we have that because we have no state, sales or no state tax here. So the casino yeah. for us. That's pretty nice. Yeah. No state tax. What's that yeah. like? <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, that's nice. I couldn't imagine living somewhere where there was. 
it's not too bad here, but where I was just, um, well, I mean, New Orleans, it was high. There was yeah. somewhere where I was recently where it was like 14% or something wild, which I'm all for state tax. If it goes, if people have access to using the funds, I am all about it. But when it just goes to like bad stuff, I'm yeah, not for it. Yeah. But we don't need to go there. To do yeah, exactly. That's let's, avo let's avoid that topic. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to grab my card panel A's. Yep, I'm just double stick taping them to my the wrong side of my card panel back right now. Okay, so you're just double okay. Yeah, or glue. I mean clipping. I like the the added little structure that double stick tape adds. Honestly, because then it doesn't shift. That's uh... exactly. And it um this agave cork tends to be on the softer side. I don't know how much cork you use. I know you use cork, but have you noticed there there can be a difference in like the almost the yes. length? Yeah. Yes, I agree. So the agave tends to be super uh thin. It can kind of shift on you and um stretch even. So I like to give it as much prep ahead of time. Yeah. It is helpful when you stick it and actually make the lines meet up though through the edges oh yeah i was curious of how if this is going to be a too thick for me this fall i don't i mean the love spinal's on a little bit of the thicker side but god i just love it i've never used it i don't ever use vinyl so i never use it i have seen it the black is like the best i mean i've it's the best black i've ever used <laughs> good to know there we go straight out of Straight from you, straight from the source. Yeah. Okay, so now we just... Uh... We're going to go top stitch those just along the top and bottom. Okay. I'm using orange thread today. Ooh, fun. I'm keeping it neutral and using a beige. I, I want to be a neutral girly so bad. <laughs> but it's just my personality is just not, not that. It well... Be. Yeah, like the most colorful thing about me is my hair, but I tend to just wear like all black. I mean, yeah, black leggings, definitely my uniform. Um, yeah. And in my sewing with cork too, I tend to lean more towards earth tones. I we have a, a visitor today. He's in my sewing chair. It's Salvador. Aww. We've been sharing a sewing chair for like 10 years now. So he's pretty good about it. He just lets me push him to the back. Normally, my, my we call my cat Hellcat. She likes to come up here. I lock her out. <laughs> oh, if oh. I lock Druzy out, she'll start meowing and scratch yeah. at the door. Sal doesn't generally grace me with his presence unless he's in here for a nap. So I'm going to be using, um, I have a size 18 needle. I know people will ask. So size 18 needle, I have thread, what is this one? Tech 70 from Waywack. Oh, it's nice. a Amon poly bonded, strong I bond. love that stuff so much. Me too. It's so good. This was my first foray into the threads. And now, of course, I've like added to my lineup. I use size thread. Yep. It I really elevates thread, it. I think orange. I don't know technically the color, but it's an orange. Yeah. Close enough. Yeah. And she only has like one orange. But... And I have a size 19 needle. Ooh. Oh yeah. Cause you're sewing on an industrial. Yeah. Oh yeah. So this will be fun. So I'm sewing on a domestic and you've got it on an industrial. So. Yep. Okay. And so just like as a general rule, I trim basically at each step. Oh my goodness. Okay. So That's I'm going to trim. It's also because I'm not super precise, which is exactly why I'm not a quilter. But I like to add in a touch of seam allowance on all my patterns to give that. Right. Okay. Okay. Yep. Let's see. Christine, Nicole, I thought you sewed on an industrial. No, I sew on a Juki, but it's not an industrial. It's what they call a semi-industrial, but I don't really... 
think that's a thing. I mean, I sewed on a brother machine for seven years before I got the Juki, and my brother sewed through all the same stuff that I sew through now. So, yeah, the brother machines are pretty good, you know. They really I mean, are. they've been around long enough; they know the deal. But yeah, I went with a, a hand handheld version of the Juki because we travel so much. Um, I have an industrial, but it just sits over there and collects dust. Honestly, I want to get your machine so that when I go to classes, I can do that. That's oh, yeah. As like whenever you're going to sew at classes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of Mod Podge on my top edge here. I'm not going to be edge coating all my card slots. Yeah, I decided not to as well. I just um, kind of burned my fuzzies off. It's a commitment. Wait, you did what? Oh, burned your fuzzies. Yeah. 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 Edge coating, like, um, what's her name? Gosh, I can't remember her name. And she made the rainbow cork. Oh, uh, Elizabeth. Yes, Elizabeth. Oh, her, so good. Such a commitment, though. I couldn't believe that she did that. It was so gorgeous. Honestly, I, that's why I said I wanted to edge paint them because I was watching her video and I'm like, oh, it looks so good. And then I was like, yeah, I'm not that person. Yeah. It's such a subtle thing, but it makes such a big difference. Man, it looks so fancy. But I'll edge coat the exterior, but I'm not. Yeah, the exterior for sure. Yeah. Let's see. Mary, Mary said, I'm looking to upgrade for my brother to a Juki 2010. Juki 2010s are really great. I was shocked at how expensive it was. It's more expensive than a, like a standard industrial, which was weird to me. I don't understand why. Maybe because it is portable. Because it is so good. That's why. Well, that too. They're, they're, a, they're getting you left and right. They they are great machines. And I definitely had a learning curve with it, which I was kind of um, shocked about. It used to skip stitches all the time. It would drive me up the wall. Oh, that would drive me bananas. But now her and I are friends. We've we figured each other out. All right, so I'm just going to add a strip of one eighth inch. Um, okay, I was wondering, but I almost did that. So I guess this has turned into your teaching. <laughs> yeah, that's like, fine. Or okay. just like a, a follow along, I guess. No. But also feel free to interject and be like, no, that's crazy. Let's do it this way. Okay, I don't, I don't, I'm. Uh... I'm a little starstruck today, so. Oh my God! What? No. Yeah, that's I'm. It's true. That's how I feel. So I'm like, whatever you want to do, I'm down. Oh my God, that's so funny. No, we were for some backstory, everybody. We've been on the live chatting for like 30 minutes before we started, or not the live, but on the stream. Yeah. No, and I feel like we're just old friends because we interact so much online. It is so true. But technically, this is our first time like meeting and hanging out. So yeah, we were saying how weird it is, uh, just always having online friends and then actually like speaking. In yeah. Person. Well, virtually in person, but. And it's just funny too because you feel like you know people with these parasocial relationships, and then you're like, oh wait, I don't actually know anything about you. Yeah, so true. So true. All right, I just went ahead and put it along the bottom of all of mine just oh, to get. Okay. I'll do the rest of mine. But you know I... what to do next. You lay just... your... Yeah, lay them out. Yep, lay them out. I did draw my lines on there, so. Good job. I had to look the pattern up because I was like, where do those go? Yeah. And in the pattern, I explain how to do this one side at a time, but I'm going to be doing both sides at a time. The Wild West today. Right. <coughs> oh, look, Cindy. What size Juki? I hope you heard, Cindy. We're both. Uh, well, what machine? What Juki are you on, Amber? I have an 1181N. Okay. Is that the one that's meant for like bag making? You know, I don't know. I just know at first I discovered Oak Roots and then I discovered probably around the same. Well, first I discovered Lauren and then I discovered Cassias. So Lauren is the one that had that whole series on, you know, what 
industrial should I buy? And that's literally, so I just bought the one she bought. Cause I'm like, well, might as well watch the lady that has the video. Right? Yeah. You're like, if it works for her, oh, works for me. So yeah, I almost want to, cause I have this really cool console back here that my, it was my grandfather's, but it's the original and Sam from sunny sewing. He's like, you need to keep that machine at all costs. But it sounds like an airplane. So I got a servo motor, but it's in the box. It's right there. It's been there for about a year now. Yeah. I it's just so intimidating to me. I don't know what it is. I'm the the needles that are in it right now are like bigger than piercing needles. It's just wild. Wow. So to me, it just seems easier to buy a brand new one and like just have it come <laughs> ready to go. Yeah. It's a little bit of a learning curve when I started sewing on uh, the industrial. You know, it takes a couple bags to get the hang of it, but. But what about like the oil? That's the thing that always throws me off because it has that big like oil reservoir down here. But I think that's just to catch the oil. No, it, it actually is full of oil, but um, that one is OK. You change the oil like you change your car oil. And I know it's, it's so never. Yeah, no, I'm basically. Just <laughs> I do one like twice a year. My brother yells at me. He's oh, okay. a little mechanic, um, so he's always yelling at me to change the oil, but He'll come do it. It's just the plug. You drain it and fill it back up. Pretty simple, but. So do you have like the the disc on? So like mine has the. Oh, sorry. I don't know what to do with my hands. Mine has this um, like slide plate at the top, and it has like the wick in it. You know what? Yeah, this does have wicks, but you can't touch them. Like you do have to like oil in here. There's like a little sponge that gets oiled, and it does have wicks if you like lift this whole thing like lifts up and it's just full of oil in here that seems so dangerous to have it, next to fabric and it does have it does have wicks in here so it's not it's not too bad so i guess it's just kind of like a self-feeding system i suppose yeah it is yeah <laughs> yeah i don't know i feel like that'll just be a nostalgia piece and eventually i'll get an industrial but i do like sewing on a domestic because i think it shows that you can make you these can giant bags and stuff on a domestic you just have to tweak your like thread and your needles and stuff yeah which i didn't start doing until like last year i sewed with like orafil uh -huh. for years and then yeah just went rogue and ordered big needles and i was like oh it works it works yeah that's, that's the best kind of yep all right so i have my first card slots on they're just taped but i'm gonna go ahead and i'm just gonna stitch one eighth of an inch and you don't even have to go across the whole bottom, just enough to like lock into where your cards are going to slide. Okay. I've got one done. Stitch in place. I've also, it, see, it does seem like um, industrials aren't as finicky about double stick tape. Oh, yeah. Mine doesn't care. Mine isn't bad anymore. When I first started using it, I think it was just because I was using like a size 14 needle and it just would said absolutely not. I'm not doing that. Yeah. But whenever I upped like the thread and the needle size, um, everything kind of came together. Yeah, mine, I don't have, I really only have, I tried once to make a leather bag and it only because I had like a piece that was gifted to me, but it's just not, not that. I don't like leather anyways, really. Like, but I have never sewn leather. It can't really do leather, this machine. So if that's your jam and you want to make leather bags, you got to probably move along something different, but. Yeah, that's the confusing part about all those industrials. Cause I find yeah. myself looking at them occasionally, but I'm like, I don't know. This one says it's good for this and it does this many stitches and can be very confusing. Yeah. Okay. Looking good. So I think the first time I made this, I didn't do this double stick tape thing. And this is definitely way easier. Well, yeah, it's so much easier to line up your side seams too. Yeah, it really is. And also I did um, full transparency. I cut my card slots on the laser. So they're pretty precise. But if I'm cutting this by hand, I have to give myself some leeway and know that I'm just going to have to trim the side seams or side edges. The human error is big with me. 
Well, I decided to um, not use the pattern piece, but only to put the appropriate slots because I didn't do any fancy card slots. So, sorry, say that again, because you didn't do what? The um, the shaped card. I just did a straight edge for my card slots this time. So It definitely cuts down a lot on cutting if you do the straight edge, for yeah. sure. I actually hadn't done the scallop edge, um, and it was just kind of luck of the draw. It was the first SVG file that I opened in my folder, so I said, all right, we're going for it. Nice. Hi, Kayla. Who else is on here? we got all kinds of friends. All right. We're at 108 viewers. Ooh. Whoa, hello. But I always like to do lives on the weekends. I feel like people can actually tune in. Honestly, yes, I agree. It's just my family is like, like yeah, they're they like, worked out, but normally they're like, um, hi, we'd like to see you. <laughs> What's well, nice of your family? I know. Sometimes Brandon went out of town. He went to the beach for a bachelor trip. So it's just me and the dogs this weekend. So this is perfect timing. Yeah, it really is. When are we quilting it? We'll, we're going to quilt it uh, after we install our zipper. The fun um, part. Yeah, zipper box. All right, I'm just going to grab. This is the annoying part about having a table that's split the way that mine is. It's really cool, but for sewing and videos, I'm like, okay, I have to move everybody. I need to put a table back over here, but I'm going to just bring my last card slot over to that side. Oh, okay. Any special spring plans or new patterns on the horizon? Someone Kayla asked. Um, you know, I was laying in bed last night and I couldn't sleep and I started thinking of a new, like a fun technique. Mm -hmm. So I will probably be trying to play with that soon to see if it will work as I think it might work. And then that might turn into something. But as of now, no, I don't have any patterns coming down the pipeline i feel like there's so many patterns happening right now yeah it's it's, it's like overwhelming to, uh yeah like research and see has anyone done this yet <laughs> exactly and there's just so much it's so easy to get lost in the shuffle yeah and i don't yeah there's so many great patterns coming out right now it used to be that there would be like a pattern every couple of weeks and now it seems like almost every day there's a new pattern yeah which is cool but i you know there's so much work to just get lost in the shuffle mm -hmm. but i'm sure eventually i'll come out with something but yeah i thought of a fun technique last night in bed um when i was trying to sleep of course it was like the monkeys playing the song up there and um mm -hmm. and i was like okay well i'm gonna have to try that now We'll see. Since I'm home alone all weekend, never know what I might get up to. Yeah. Um, Paula, I am not teaching at Socation. Um, I had somebody reach out and ask me if I would, and I said I would, but I need to speak with the lady, but I have, I never heard from her. Um, I'm probably going to go and help Jenna from Thunderbird New Crafts on her anti fabric house. But that's all I am. I'll go and say, hey, you know, go shop, but that's it. What are you talking about? Is it like an expo or what is it? Yeah, it's called Socation, I think. It's in June here in um, Vegas. Oh. And I don't know. I've never been. It's the first thing that's ever been here. So. Um, there. So is it like a retreat situation or? I think it's kind of like the So Magical Expos. Oh, like, it's going to be a big one. I, th I think. I mean, I'm not sure. Who knows, but. You never know until you go. I'm actually going to my first retreat as a 
like a participant. Oh, really? I'm going to wizardry. Oh, that'll be fun. Yeah, so I'm excited. I've never, I've only gone as a teacher. Right? So this will be interesting. It'll be different. A different experience for sure. Have you ever gone to any retreats? I haven't. No. Ouch. Yeah, not this yet. Still have uh, kids that are kind of that age where, you know, if I'm going to leave my state, it's probably going to be for a vacation for all of us. Yeah, for sure. You're like, no, guys, we'll not. Uh, I think they would revolt if I left without them. So. Yeah. Especially because wherever all the retreats are, they're like in cool spots. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, come on, get in the, the hand-dyed class. I don't know if the classes have opened yet, but it seemed pretty awesome. Okay, are you putting a piece of double stick tape on your card slot B? I one? did. I, I've never done it before, but I did. I put one right down the center line just to stick it in place to hold it for doing my uh, vertical. Yeah, I'm doing that as well because I thought, you know, it'd be nice. It's a, it's a new day. We're trying new things. Yeah. So do you go by Nicole or Nico? Both. Both. Okay. Yep. I would, both. I either. call you Nicole, but I get, I get stuff from you. It says Nico. So I'm like, I don't know. It just, it all depends on my mood that day. I answer to both. I've been called Nico since high school. I've never been Nikki. I've always been Nico or Cole. And so, uh, yeah, I go by Nico or Nicole. I was Nico, Nicole. I try to be like Prince, you know, with like one yeah. name. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I go by either. Um, Mary's asking if you're going to go to the So Bagical in Vegas. Um, I don't know. I, it's not on my plans as of now, but it all depends on timing and all of that jazz. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. It's like, when is it? I don't know yet. So Yeah. I've got a lot of my year already planned out, which is crazy to put it all in one, like, note. I'm already planned through, like, September. Yeah. As long as I'm approved to teach, I will definitely be in um, Orlando. I know that's for sure. That's badass. Yeah, you need to come to Orlando or Nashville. I, I'm unfortunately I'm missing Nashville this year, but yeah, the thing is, like, Florida is literally the entire opposite side of the country for me. For me to take me and my, it's like two grand just to fly me and my family to go there. Not to mention where I'm gonna stay and same for that. It's so expensive. Well, and then if you want to go to Disney, I mean, yeah, you're looking at a cool ten grand for sure. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, dang, I'm just a civil servant, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Just out here trying to help people. Yeah. yeah, I bet you see some wild stuff. Oh, man. Am I a fun date? Let me tell you what. It I is bet. crazy. The stuff I've heard. I can only imagine. That's just so silly that people like do. So I always just think, you you sat there and you thought, this is a great idea. Let's do it. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've, uh, I've gotten in trouble in court once and... Uh, you yeah, know. judges. Judges don't take kindly to uh, a lot of things. Yeah, I'm telling you what. But the stuff we hear here in federal court are um, federal crimes. So all the stuff that happens, like in our city, it's usually state court. But I used to work in state court. I've actually been on Dateline. I had a Dateline special, 48 hours. Wait, like you were being interviewed? Well, I was the court reporter for the case. So I'm like, if you watch the episode, that's me in the courtroom on the little thing. Oh my God, you're going to have to link it so we can all watch it. Yeah, that, that one's pretty. It was See what action. George TFA, the firefighter who hired a homeless man to murder his wife. Man, men will just do anything, won't they? Like, just get, yeah, a, just get a divorce. Her. Just divorce just her, please. <laughs> it's wild. I mean, it was wild. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're just out here doing the most. That's for sure. Honestly. All right. So I like to, I don't know if you did it on yours, but I like to adhere my little side sections 
And I do that by kind of pulling these out of the way and putting, of course, a piece of double stick tape just right along the edge. And then all the card slot edges will stick down. Oh my gosh, what a great idea. Okay. Yeah, I'm not a fan of shifting and cork definitely has a tendency to want to do that. Yes, I am gonna, did you do your eighth inch? I am gonna do my eighth inch. Um, and I was just thinking about that. So in the pattern, I specifically worked in um, an extra little or an extra quarter inch. So an extra eighth inch on both sides to allow trimming and okay. still have enough card slot room. So I'm I'm using my eighth inch tape, but I'm putting it over about a sixteenth of an inch so that when I do trim, the I don't cut the tape off. Right. So it's like um, political season. We have all these people coming to the door. I'm like, dude, please just leave. Yeah, we have we have the I most. Just had somebody. That's why I'm like looking at her. I'm like, no. <laughs> oh yeah, because you're like right next to your front door, aren't you? Yeah, I am. Yeah. I think I saw that in the Saya video. Which Was is nice your... for deliveries because I can tell the guy, okay, don't ring the doorbell. Yeah, like. <laughs> but... Anyways. Um, yeah, we have the most persistent spectrum guy. We don't use spectrum internet anymore because they suck, but no <laughs> offense to anybody who works at spectrum, but yeah, they like email us, send us mailers and then they're knocking on the door all the time. And we're like, bro, Wait, we don't want it. Are just the solar panel people trying oh, well, to sell solar all the time? I'm like, no, thanks. <laughs> Yeah, it seems like you'd be in a good spot for solar, but that's kind of a, that's a wild thing too. We're in the process of um, house hunting in South Carolina. It's only about an hour away, but a lot of the houses down there have solar panels and they're locked into these super long loans. Yes. And then we absorb the loan if we buy that house and the loan yeah. itself is like several hundred dollars a month. So, well, and the thing is, so our electric is so crazy expensive here. Um, but the thing is when you have solar, you still have to pay some electric, but cause they're charging you a storage fee to use their, uh -huh. it to store your solar. Of course they are. Then they can take your solar when they it's need it. So we don't have brownouts. Yeah. So I was like, wow, that seems illegal and I have to pay for this. So no thanks. Yeah, that's definitely. Yeah, it's sounds okay. about sounds about right for American. Yeah. Yeah, it's really. Oh, Paula said, put up a sign that says, "Unless you're selling Girl Scout cookies, go away." That's a good idea. I don't need them to stop here either, though. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> I'm changing my blade because getting into these thick edges. If you don't have a sharp blade with cork, you're just gonna rip the cork off the backing. And then it becomes a mess. So I'm changing to a fresh blade so that I get a nice fresh cut. Marion says, Amber, come to Orlando by yourself. You deserve it. I wish I was that at that point in my life. I do. I'm not there yet. You'll get I mean, there eventually. Yeah, when my kids are bigger. I just have so much mom guilt. I can't, you know, I just can't handle it. Well, especially Orlando, because every kid knows that that's where Disney is. Exactly. And my husband is the biggest anti-Disney man. He hates Disneyland. Like, I made him go when the kids were a little younger, but he hated every minute of it. So I'm kind of the same way. I'm also just so conscientious about spending money that when I, the last So Magical that we did, um, my girlfriend, because I'm from South Florida. Well, I'm from mm -hmm. New York. I'm like a good New Yorker. We moved to South Florida. And so I grew up <laughs> in South Florida. But so my best friend came up and we went to Islands of Adventure. Uh, we went to Universal. I love Universal because there's so many rides and they're all in one spot. But we had to pay the fast pass, of course. Otherwise, you're going to be in lunch for three, four hours. And when I tell you, our tickets were like over $300. Yeah. I could have had a coronary. And my husband yeah. was like, let's just do it. You know, it's fine. We're here. And my friends got the fast pass. So I was like, well, I guess we have to. But I was not happy about it. <laughs> right? I, I will do it, but I won't be happy about it. Yeah, I'm going to bitch about it. All right, so I'm going to trim up my edges because okay. we're here. 
So you're just trimming off an eighth on each side. Yeah, and it's I'm not being super particular about the eighth. I just want to make sure that my edges are nice and straight. I'm just not going to be trimming off a quarter inch from both sides. Right. Okay. I'm over here at my cutting table. You can't see me. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay. This Lux vinyl trims so nicely. That's awesome. Oh, so good. Of course, I just swept before we got started, and my trash can is like over there. It's I'm fighting the urge not to throw my trash on the floor. Okay. Let's see. Hello, Helena. Good morning. Debbie. Hello. Oh, hi, Diane. Carol said you'll never regret spending time with your kids. They're going to, they're gone much longer than they are in your home. I imagine just even watching my niece grow up. She's already four. She's like a full, like miniature adult. I can't imagine what it's like with your own children. Yeah. I just don't. Yeah. I just, my mom never went and took a vacation without me. So I, I just am not going to do it, but say that again. Sorry. My mom, when I was growing up, my mom never went on vacation without me. So I just kind of how I, my uh, model of the mother, I guess. It's a familial trait. We just couldn't yeah. go on vacation when I was a kid. It just wasn't really an option. So yeah, it, it, it was rare. It was like, let's drive four hours to the beach and we'll hang out the day and then we'll drive home <laughs> you know yeah Woo, four hours gosh is that your closest beach in vegas where's yeah california wow that's wild that's when i lived in colorado our closest beach was mexico but it was yeah. much farther than four hours yeah okay so we're done with this guy so oh did you stitch your vertical i did yeah Okay, I gotta do that. I was sneaky. You were sneaky. I didn't even catch it. Nope. You gotta watch out. I'm wily. Let's see. Maribel said, I live in Florida. I've been in Disney 19 times. So, Maribel, on that, so growing up in Florida, my grandmother was a total Disney fanatic. So, like, every Christmas we got Disney stuff. My my character was Eeyore. I loved Eeyore. Um, it, or, uh, Disney was just, like, a way of life for us. And I think that's why I've, um, I've gone in the other direction and I'm not a Disney adult because I did grow up going and I mean, we didn't go often, but I definitely went, I've been five or six times, but as an adult, I just can't imagine taking your, it's so expensive. I understand it's really cool, but if I ever have children, we're not going until they're like 12. So until they, they can have, remember. Exactly. That's they're going to remember that trip. <laughs> yeah. It's so expensive. Mm -hmm. All right. Hi, Debbie. I just want to check. Oh, Amory, that's so funny. Tell fun hubby I said hello. All right. I'm going to Wonder Garden in April to a class. I get to meet Kasai and Susan. Oh, Cindy, that'll be so fun. It will be. They are so fun. They really are great. Susan is hilarious. I've like, never met Susan, but I've hung out with Saya. She's a lot of fun. Yes. They are a fun duo, those two. Um, let's see. Lori said, is that a Glowforge beside you, Nicole? How do you like it? That is a Glowforge. Um, I do like it. I'm kind of bummed because they just put out a smaller version, and it's way more affordable. Um, so I personally would go with, like, the $600 one that they just put out. It's cool. It's definitely a learning curve, and cutting cork on it is not the most... Uh, nice smell it's it puts off some smells um but it's fun hi debbie hi nova oh hey nova christine hey. awesome i'm so glad everybody's here okay so let's see let's do our zipper let's do the zipper i'm ready okay so you got your pull on nope i know in a minute Yeah, I was never at Disney World. I've never been there. I've been to Disneyland. Now, which one's which? Disney. Oh, World is in Florida, right? Yeah, Land. We have Land, California Adventure. Now there's a Legoland. We went to Six Flags a few times. 
Um, I've been to World and I've been to California Adventure. I've never been to Legoland or. Yeah, I haven't done that one. That just sounds not fun to me. <laughs> they should have like an attraction where you just walk on all Legos and you can feel like a, like a parent in the middle of the night. Um, I'm just making a 90 degree, but the trick with this one, which I know that you know because you've made this wallet, but you want to go in farther. So I'm leaving about, let me stand up. I'm leaving about a quarter inch overhang under the zipper tape because okay. we need this excess in order to make it all the way across our pouch. Yeah. So you leave a little quarter inch. Okay. Yeah. Do you sew your zipper tape down? I usually do, but with these little tiny three... Um, what I've been doing is I'll just fold it and then I'll trim off that bottom and then I'll just burn it. Yeah. Okay. That's, I am team burn all the way. I usually sew them, especially the, who is it put out that like viral sewing video, the, the, the zipper hack where you can, yeah, that really works. And so if I'm doing two folded edges, I'll do that, but. With my industrial, it would eat my zipper tape. There's no way I could sew on it. It is kind of a, a pain in the butt to do, especially when you're sewing down. Sewing down the first side isn't hard, but the second side is a challenge. Yeah. Hey, Elizabeth. She, Elizabeth says, I love this pocket. It is a good pocket. It took me forever. All right. I got it. And then I pulled it apart. Oh, yeah. Oh, Stacy. Oh, yeah. Susie can come to my house next Friday. Heck, yeah. Right on the party. All right. So, you know what to do. I feel like, why, why am I teaching? You know what to do. You know what to do. Actually, I've only done this once. Let me see. Well, okay, so we're just going to put tape around or under the bottom, up the short edge, and then across the top, but we're going to leave the gusset area alone for now. Okay, okay. And I'm using a quarter, or, yeah, quarter inch tape on this one. Oh, a quarter, okay. I don't really know why, just kind of gravitated toward it. And then I am trailing it, though. This is like my camera is too far away. I am trailing it past this right edge. So that way when the, the straight edge of the zipper tape is in place, yeah, it has okay. something to adhere to. But yeah, so just oh, oh. put a little extra okay. down there. Got it. Yep. Yeah. And then we're just going to put our zipper there or put it into place like normal. I will say the good thing about the Glowforge and cutting cork is that it seals the edges. Yes. I which think is, you're good with this Lux vinyl, honestly. Well, I don't know if you can cut vinyl with a laser. I don't know oh, because oh, of I, the gas. Yeah, I think it's only certain kinds, maybe. Yeah, I don't know. Because I don't really ever work with vinyl, I don't obviously test it out. But just a, the certain corks smell way worse. Like this printed cork put off a lot more noxious fumes than just like a natural cork. Oh, good point. But yeah, I don't really know. I'm just probably in here poisoning myself, if I'm being honest. Oh, no. Like, why does my throat hurt all the time? Yeah. Okay, so we just lay the, okay, we just hit drum. Got it. Yep, yep. And you line up your, okay, I got it. I got it. Let me do it this way. And this is the part that I'll take the most time on because if you don't get your zipper in correct here, it's going to yeah. be messed up. All things jacked, yep. Yep. And you're making sure your bent teeth are a little bit in from your edge on the bottom. Yeah, not a ton in, but mine are set in about an eighth of an inch, I'd, if I had to say. Yeah. And sewing with a number three zipper is a lot easier with the teeth that versus a number five. So true. Yeah, I could see that. I've only done number five both times. 
but it worked so it, it will work it's possible who is the coolest celebrity you've ever met in real life do you have one um oh it's kind of he's kind of bad he's a bad person let's see i haven't really met a lot of celebrities i the haven't old, either. i used to be a server in uh, South Carolina in Greenville and we had BMW was down there. And so we would have the BMW Pro-Am, the golf tournament. And so it would bring in a lot of celebrities and they would always come downtown to eat. And so I waited on a table of celebrities, but it was Hyde from that 70s show who just went to prison for rape. Oh yeah. Yeah, so he was there, but I used to be obsessed with him when I was younger, unknowingly, you know, unknowing well, I that mean, he was- like, I would have went and fought that, you know? Exactly. And he was just a cutie to me, but there were, he, there was like a drummer from, um, oh, I can't remember the band, but it was a whole group of celebrities. And then of course, wouldn't you know it, our, my manager gave them their food for free. I'm like, these are the people that can afford it. And then they literally crumpled up dollar bills and threw them into the middle of the table for my tip. And I was like, all right, you guys suck. Wow. Yeah. You know what? My husband, he works at Caesar's palace and he's always saying, he's like the Famous people never pay for anything. And exactly. They, they get everything for Yeah. They get everything for free. What about you? I'm sure living in Vegas, you've Um, actually I haven't. My husband's met tons. He says the nicest person he's ever met is Reba. McIntyre? Yeah. I can I can see that. Yeah, sh literally so sweet. But mine is Dick Van Dyke. I met him oh. at the gas station. He was literally whistling, pumping his gas. He was the nicest guy ever. Yeah, I don't think I've really met Celeb besides like Lauren. Yeah, I yeah, that would be a that would be a celebrity to me. Um, so I'm gonna put a piece of quarter inch tape on the short edge. Yep. The open short edge here to adhere this section down. And we're just folding it over the interfacing. Yep, you're using your interfacing as your fold line. Mm -hmm. And then if you need more tape on top of your zipper tape, we're gonna be laying this along the bottom edge. Because now you've got me wondering if I've ever met celebrities. If I have, they haven't made it a, an impression, I guess. Yeah. It's just so fun, you know. Hopefully. It is fun. You never know when people, who you meet, you know? Yeah, I took the deposition of a DJ once. I can't remember what his name was. He wasn't anybody I really knew, but I remember at the time my stepson was like, "What? Do you remember his name?" I don't. I I don't. I don't remember yeah. much about him. Just that he was a DJ and well known, but he was so such a jerk. <laughs> yeah, I mean, there's probably a lot of DJs to choose from with that. Um, and then so I stuck my folded edge. So you stick it right side down with your folded edge that's going to be lined up on your gusset cut line. Yep, yep. Yep, and I do that pretty darn close. I mean, it's just a smidge over. And then we're going to leave it like this and stitch from the front side just along this bottom edge here. So, oh, I'm gonna cut. He's got a dreadlock for me back here. I'm gonna cut this while he's sleeping. You know what? My cat gets those too. She's long haired as well. Yeah, and he's like 10 now. And I think it's just like a, a hard spot to reach. Yeah. But he never, lets, he never lets me cut him. So I'm gonna I'm strike while the iron's hot. Do it. There you go, Sal. My daughter wants an orange tabby cat so badly. Oh my gosh, they're the funnest, but they definitely live up to all the memes that that are out there about them. Yes, and I'm like, I don't know if I can handle it. He's uh, he is a wild card. Yeah, I'm just switching to my zipper plate here. I 
I'm going to pull my thread tails to the back. Yeah. Stitcher. What's that? What are you, are you back stitching or pulling your thread tails? I kind of did both. I did back stitch over my zipper teeth over here just for added security. Um, okay. And I did kind of back stitch here too. I don't know. I'm like six one way, half a dozen of the other. I like the look of pulling them to the back, but I get concerned that when people are like yanking on. Yeah. Okay. It, that they're going to pull it out. Mm -hmm. But when I do tie off to the back, I just leave my zipper tail or I leave my threads to the back. Yeah. I don't like trim them. I wish I could see the comments on my screen. My screen's too small. Yeah. Let's see. Audrey said, I'm interested in starting to sew with cork. Can you tell us what to look for when buying cork? Um, honestly, the biggest thing that I can say is that you get what you pay for. I always just buy from Fabric Funhouse. I don't know. They have Me fun too. I use uh, Jess from So Many Creations. I like her cork too. Oh, I didn't know they had cork. Okay. What's that? I didn't know they ha that she had cork. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, she sells a lot of cork. Um, I like her for prints because Fabric Funhouse discontinued their prints a while ago. And Jess has a lot of really good prints. Um, but yeah, you just want quality cork if you want to like play around with it you can get some from hobby lobby or you know like a big box store but it's not gonna last long um but the a big thing that i see happening in a lot of the rooms is people are mad when cr when cork cracks and if you're getting into the corks that have the patterns on them not the printed patterns but like the striped corks the corks with the foils behind them yeah. things like that they're going to crack it's kind of the nature of the beast because if you think about the way that they're made, it's cork, it's all compressed and then it's shaved and it's a, such a thin layer that whenever you're folding it and you're manipulating it, it's pulling those conjoined pieces apart. <coughs> and the ones that have the foil inlays, they're so beautiful, but all that foil is holes in the cork. So when you fold oh. it, you're putting pressure on it. <laughs> to know. So cork cracking is not indicative of the quality per se, right. but if you're just using like a standard, this is printed, but it's printed on natural cork. If your natural cork on your folds is cracking, generally not a great sign, but it is tree bark and it is a natural occurring substance. So it's not, it's not vinyl and it's not made out of plastic or poly. So it doesn't have the same exact attributes. And I, I think a lot of people, because they call it like yeah. vegan leather and things, they, they think that it has the same exact attributes. And it just, it's a naturally occurring substance. So you just have to keep that in mind. Good. That being said, I've been using it solely for about nine years now. And I've never had people complain about it. Um, I think we as makers, we pay attention to those things a lot closer than a consumer would. Um, but yeah. You get what you pay for. There are definitely reputable sources and you can easily get people's opinions if you ask. Right. <laughs> yeah. All right. So you got your bottom done? Yep. Okay. I'm done. I fold yep, it. So beautiful. Yeah. I love the nice rest, the shelf that you get whenever you. So just nice. It. it really is with that. Nice and crispy. Perfect. Yep. So I like to put, what's that? You don't even have to iron it. It's just like, whoop. Exactly. What did you interface yours with? SF101. Oh, nice. See, I did Decaville Light on mine, so it's like super nice and crisp. Oh, okay. Yep. I wanted from the pro here. Uh, no, okay. not quite. <laughs> um, so I like to add just one little piece of tape here just to hold it down. It doesn't really need it, but okay. just I'm a proponent of tape. We love tape. Yeah, we love tape and we hate shifting. So when you can combat both. Perfect. Do both at the same time. Okay. All right. So stick that bad boy down. And then now what we need to do is we're going to add our zipper gusset. So you're going to grab this guy. And basically we're going to lay it wrong side down. So we're sandwiching mm -hmm. wrong side down. And we're lining up these edges as best as possible. Um, if you don't want to use tape, you don't have to, but basically we're going to flip to the front and just stitch down that short side there. 
I've never tried not using tape, but I wonder if it can just be clipped here. Let's try. I'm going to um, err on the side of caution and use tape. <laughs> yeah, it's already, yeah. I like having the, um, the like ability to line things up exactly. Now we're gonna go. Um, I'm loving a matte black zipper with black. Okay, so you posted a matte. Oh, the the laptop bag that you made. Yeah. Yeah, that thing is gorgeous. First of all, thank but you. But it's that matte black tape. I went to Sullivan's Trim because they have it, and I have a whole cart, and I just haven't pressed purchase. But I'm like this close. You're you've convinced me. It's nice. You're an influencer. Yeah, I guess so. I just <laughs> like to shop. <laughs> You're making all of us poor. I know. I'm also poor with you, so it's fine. <laughs> That's true. At least we have craft supplies. Yeah. So we're only going to stitch down this small. Yep, just the very side edge, inside edge of the zipper gusset. Okay. About an eighth of an inch down from the end of the cut. So you yep. Can it. Yeah. Excuse me. Traveling is so fun, but I have been sick for like the last five weeks. Oh, yeah. that does, Every time. It doesn't matter where you go, really. Yep. Yep. Uh, but, well, before I went to the Dominican, I had laryngitis, lost my voice, got it back just before Dominican, came home, and probably because uh -huh. it was a bachelorette party, uh, didn't help things. Um, got right. sick again out in Washington with my niece, and then now sick after New Orleans. Yeah. So much fun. You're like, I'm over the sickness. Yeah. I'm, that is truer words have never been spoken. Yeah. I was, I was sick a good three years while my kids were little. That's not fun. Yeah. My friend, uh, she's pregnant right now. And I was like talking to her about finding schools for her baby when she goes back to work. And I was like, oh, you're going to be sick for like the first year. It's just a fact of life. When I first started teaching, I was just sick incessantly always sick. yeah always sick all right i'm just tying my threads too then i just put a piece just right here on the outside and i just brought it down low enough I don't know my angles here. I just ran down low enough to meet up with Catch the bottom it. edge of the gusset. Can you stitch the gusset from the back? Well, I suppose you could, but I don't know you'd want to. You can, but I think having an eye on what the front of the project look like looks like yeah. is always my preference. Yeah. But you can do whatever you like. <clears throat> that is true. This step or this process seems so laborious, but I'd like breaking it down into step by step. But I, I tried it so many ways. This was the easiest. I've made a zipper pocket like this before, and it was not this easy. So I appreciate the process. It's perfect. It comes out. You said it. You said it wasn't this what. It wasn't your pattern, but I've made a similar type, but it wasn't exactly the same, but it's the same idea. And it was not this easy. This is very easy. Oh, good. Well, that makes me happy to hear because I tried it so many ways and I was like, oh, this is just not the way it has to be done. It's perfect. All right. And you're just going to fold it over and line it up. Uh, you don't have to be super precious with the measurement here, but about a quarter of an inch over your yeah. other side. And then we can get some whoop whoop. Don't, don't look at my gusset. Right. Beautiful, beautiful. All um, right, and then before we stitch this down, we do want to add our top. Right, got it. Tape, tape in. And then for this, I always just line up my the bottom edges of this one to the bottom edges down here. Okay, that's easy. Um, the succulent, succulent cork is no longer in print, but um, so many creations. Is that what it is? 
So many creations does have prints, but not the succulent. Yeah, succulents. This was a fabric funhouse print. Yeah. I've been holding on to it for years. Years and years. Somewhat of a hoarder. Yes. Debbie um, said, no, not yes to your hoarding. I also am a hoarder. <laughs> I'm saying yes. Um, Debbie says that when using text threads, they'll melt and flatten instead of tying. I tie and melt and flatten. I've tried, I'm, I'll tie and then I'll melt and flatten and then I'll burn my little tie off and I'll have to redo yeah. it. I'm just not good with like pulling to the back and tying. Yeah. I'm just, yep. I'm the lazy seamstress. If I ever rebrand, that'll be my. I yeah. actually love that. Can you make a shirt? <laughs> love buy it. Oh, that's a good idea. We also need to do the craft mafia shirts. Yes. You know what? I was looking at, there is a craft mafia already. Okay. Well, that's good to know. But there's not a maker mafia. Ooh. And I like okay. the alliteration. So. Me too. I love a good alliteration. Yeah, I was thinking that was one of the many things in my brain last night um, when I was when I couldn't sleep was the, the mafia shirts. And I was like, got to figure that one out. That one will yeah, be we've got to get it designed. Yes. All right. So now we're just going to stitch around starting right. from the bottom down here. Just zip right across that little bottom section and then up. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Sorry, sorry, sorry. We're going to stitch our pocket together first. It makes it so much easier oh, to yeah. do it now. It seems unintuitive, but it makes it so much easier. So from the front, we're gonna fold up the right side. And I like to peel and expose my zipper if I can. Mm -hmm. And then stitch down the right side and then across the bottom. Yep, okay. We got this. And now we'll stitch across right. the bottom, up the side, and across the top, back on over. Here. Uh, Caleb said, I, I caught something that was so funny. This would also be a good sticker. Poor, but not bored. <laughs> Poor, oh, that is funny. <laughs> Like, yeah, that's an accurate description of me. That, that's a good one. I mean, I know it's said all, all the time, but it's so true. It's like collecting the products and actually using them are two vastly different. Hobbies, yeah. Yes, exactly. And not to mention, like, my studio is full of all sorts of other stuff, too, like tie dyeing, ice dyeing. I, I thought I was going to be doing that. Never, never did that a day in my life, and I've all died. Yeah. I'm also, I'm beginning to think, and I've never, never even considered it before, but after seeing all of the information about ADHD come out in the last several years online, I think I might have a touch of ADHD. Uh, same. Actually, I went and saw somebody and they're like, yeah, you did my new girlfriend. <laughs> Oh yeah, God. and I won't medicate for it because I've been oh. dealing with it, but I'm I'm like 99.9% .9 positive and mm -hmm. um yeah, just a lot of the stuff I'm like, "Oh, that's that's, that's what, what that is." Yeah. Okay. That's why I do that. Okay. Yeah, the whole like even going back to childhood, the social butterfly, like all of that stuff. Yes. It all makes sense. And I don't say that lightly, you know, that's why I've never, I don't talk about it because it's like, I feel like everybody is armchair diagnosing themselves these days. Yeah. And that's not what I intend to do, but it's, you know, I am um, diagnosed other stuff. So I, you know, yeah. I don't know, this, this might be it. I feel like anxiety and all that, they go hand in hand. So true. Yeah. 
All right, Mary said, I love Maker Mafia. It's perfect for those of us who sew and crochet and knit. Yeah, it's perfect for like- Oh yeah, more than one craft, huh? Exactly, so everybody, yeah. I love the Maker Mafia, we're gonna have to do that. Yeah. Okay, so Carol said that So Many Creations does have a pretty pastel colored succulent court. Pastel, sign me up. Yeah, all right, Patty's asking for links. I'll grab some links real quick. So Many Creations. Thank All you, right. Alexis. Alexis linked mine. Thank you so much. Whew. All right. So there's so many creations. That's for the court. What else were we talking about? Leather. Fabric Funhouse. Oh, yeah. I do have a code for Fabric Funhouse, too. There you go. If you use code SONAR10, which I'll put it in the chat, um, you can get 10% off your first order. 10% off first order. And then what else? Oh, so uh, magical expo. Mm -hmm. So magical. Somebody said they lost the volume. Can anybody, uh, can everybody hear us? Come I in. think it's, we're going, we, we kind of get really quiet for certain points. Yeah, we're I'm like concentrating. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if that's what it is. All right, our packet is done. Okay, so we need to attach our snaps. Now I have to think about this. Let me pull out my cliff notes here. All right, Kelly says she can hear us. Cute. Oh, it so looks nice. so good. Here's one. I love that cord so much. Oh my god. I'll have to check out the uh, pastel succulents. I did the Art Deco um, yeah. Juicy Juice Giuseppe. I did. I love his fabric. Yeah. Um, but I did his like it's a lavender arch print. I had a whole other design scheme for this wallet last night, and then super last minute I changed it all to greens. But it was going to be eggplant and lavender with this, but oh, I just wasn't God. quite feeling it. But I did accidentally, I messed up. I had a slight mess up on my other succulent exterior. So I might do a green version and then a purple version. Do it. And we'll see. Okay, so we need to install one of our snaps right now. Okay. Add snaps texture. So we okay. Need yep. So we're going to attach our snaps to the bottom. Okay. I got those marked in. Are you doing spring snaps or magnetic snaps or? I'm going to do um, magnetic snaps. That's what I've got going over here. I want to do the other ones, but I'm not. Okay. Everyone's here is fine. But what? I want to, but then I'll just be like hammering. Oh, yeah. The press oh, definitely good. helps. Dill says we sew so well together, you and I. Oh. Thank you. Well, thank you. That's okay. I mean, it really feels like we're just old friends. So it makes Honestly. Sense. Yeah. yeah. I guess that's what happens when you follow each other. I know. That is so true. Lauren and I have a good time sewing together, too. I don't really, I don't know that I've ever done... Well, we'll have to do it again. Definitely. I want to do the reasonable shopping bag yes. like we're talking about. Yeah, let's do that for sure. Yeah, because I need to make a couple more because they, I use them for everything. They're, they're very, my mom, yeah, she's using the crap out of hers, so. Good. I think that they could be so customizable too. Like you could add so much stuff mm -hmm. to them. It's a good base pattern for sure. Yes. Love a good base. All right. Speaking of base. So we are installing the, I guess it doesn't really matter. So you're going to do, if you're doing magnetic, you're going to be doing the female portion. Okay, go on. 
I only have like these really, remember when we used to have like these really thick, um, yep. <laughs> the big boys. Yeah. The big boys. That's all we used to have. Now we have these cool thin ones, but I'm like, well, I'll just <laughs> use the, the old ones I have. And they're so, um, the new ones are like so thin and small too, like 14 millimeters. They're my favorite. Oh, I just got the 10 millimeter ones Lauren has. They are so cute. They are, but they are such a pain sometimes to like yeah. bend the prongs. Yeah. Oh, she yeah. got us those for the, um, the cruise on the Galavanter wallet. We use those and I thought I was going to break my fingertips off. Oh, no. I'm going to get some interfacing for this. One. I love how quick this wallet comes together. Even us just like shooting the breeze. Oh, yeah. We're already close to the end. Um, so Mary asked, Amber, have you shopped at Soya Quilting in Vegas? Okay. So I have gone there, but they are, so I live kind of by Lake Mead by Boulder City. Um, I'm on the very outskirts of town. And um, so yeah, Quilting is literally like 45 minutes away. So I, I've only been there, like, I think I've been there twice, but... I just like Quiltique better. One, it's closer, and I just, they, whoever buys their fabric is more my vibe. We have some local quilt shops here, and I, I hate to say it, but they, yeah, they don't stock anything that I would use. Yeah, well, look at these, look at this gem I found yesterday at my uh, local quilt shop. It's like comic book, Ooh. but sewing related. That's fun. Yeah, and they like, I just, whoever purchases their fabric is my, like that, this uh, little Halloween print too. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I saw your videos when you were in there. I know. I, I try not to go there that much because I'm just like, <laughs> oh, look at this spooky stuff. Yeah, it's such a bummer. I mostly buy all my stuff online, which I mean, it's easier for me, but I used to love when, when I lived in Durango in Colorado, I always was at my quilt shop on my lunch break when I was teaching. I was just always there hanging out and just putzing around. I got to know everybody really well. I tried to get them to hire me for a hot second. Actually, that's probably what I would do. If Sonar ever disbanded, I'd probably get a job in a fabric store. Yes. But, um, but okay. yeah, it's, it's, and here it's just, I kind of feel like they think I'm stealing all the time too. They just kind of like follow me around. I don't know. It's, it's really? a weird thing. Yeah. I, I just get vibed out. I don't know. But I'm not stealing. I'm an adult. I don't really know what that means, but whatever. Honestly, I feel like I'm about 12 in my brain. Yeah, definitely still um, an unruly teenager. But I still act like that too sometimes. So I am a bit of a wild card. So you never, never quite know. <laughs> okay. Oh, so this is where we would quilt. Yeah time to quilt are we going to put them both together and then yes so we have that to install is... our well i need to install my other part oh okay. yeah because you're doing magnetic snap mm -hmm. i'll just do that real quick so i'm going to do a spider web quilt quilting I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Maybe I'll like trace some of my succulents or something. I don't know. Ooh. We'll see. I love when you do your, like the lines, it's kind of very geometric. I love that. That's yeah. That's I call it crazy Finish quilting. Her? Yeah. I love that. Um, I just realized I left my, I cut my lining large on purpose. I don't really know why, but I'm oh, glad okay. I got a trimmer. Just, up. Yeah. Nova says she feels like that at Joanne. They always follow her. Oh my it's goodness. so weird. It's I don't understand it. It's it's a good way to get me to leave real quick. Yeah. So 
is so weird. All three of my panels are cut different sizes. No clue what that's about. Um, Heidi says, are you live on another platform? I don't think so. No, well, I are... put I put the direct link on my Patreon, but yep. it should be linking or pulling over to here, I think. I'm sure it is. I could check on my phone. I think we're good. We have pretty much over a hundred people all the time, so I'm sure it's on your channel. Oh yeah, so I had I said sixty six on mine. What does it say on yours? Oh well, this is hundred seven together. So you have this. Oh. I have the balance. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When you said a hundred earlier, I was like, I'm not sure where she's getting that number, but. Oh yeah, it's the uh, in Streamyard. It it combines all of our comments and our. Okay, gotcha. So do you do tape to mush them? You probably do. Yes. So let's say yeah. Hey, I think isn't isn't there like some sort of um there's like that interfacing that's adhesive that you could probably put and then you could peel and stick. I don't know yeah. if I'm making that up. It's there seems is. Like some, yeah, there it, is. That, I feel like that would work really well for something like this. The only thing is, and I wouldn't use it if you're quilting a design because the now that is a sticky. That stuff is so sticky. Even my machine's like, girl, no, we're not doing <laughs> <laughs> okay, good to know. Yeah, I've never tried it. What's the name of it? Do you know? It's called uh, Therafuse from Fabric Therapy. Okay. So I will say I love the foam because I can just put it when I'm binding. I could just put it in between my exterior and my lining panel and just go it for it. Oh, it's so good. So easy. Yeah, I feel like that would make it easy. But yeah, good point. You don't want to like go up your machine on purpose. Yeah, I wouldn't use it to quilt. So like if you're doing a quilted panel, probably not. No. Okay, we're we're literally almost done. I know, crazy. Wild. I don't think I've ever had a live under three hours. <laughs> I know, I heard you say earlier you're, to your kid, you're like, I'll be out in a few hours. So I was like, oh, never. It won't take that long. <laughs> yeah, it's a... Uh... Yeah, so if you were intimidated, try this. It's great. You could literally cut and sew this in under two hours for sure. Your first time even. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I always, I tend to always do recessed card slots, but they really psych people out. They do, don't they? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, people get super psyched out. So I try to do a mix like the Deimos is regular card slots. And then of course yeah. this one. But this would really lend itself to having recessed card slots and it would make it even slimmer. Yeah, it really would. See, so, yeah, I always just do like the craziest hack job of uh, tape. Yeah. I just put some strips. I do nothing fancy. Now, I will say on this one, I tried on my exterior, I just put Decaville Light just on the flap. Ooh, to give it some extra oomph. Yeah, because on my last one, I just felt like it was a little bit more flimsy. Yep. So I just thought, I'm going to try that this time. I didn't do Decaville Heavy. I just did Decaville Light to see. Um, now, are you going to do any quilting on the flap? I was thinking of doing a little web, but... Because I was just going to say, if you do, like, a decent amount of quilting, that's where you're going to get the additional structure from. But if you're, I forgot you're doing like a picture. I think I'm just going to do the crazy quilt because that's just like what's in my heart. So, yeah. but that whenever you quilt on top of this stuff and you yeah. do like a decent amount, it's, it really locks it in there. But I of did, course we can only do the top and the bottom. We can't do the back. Yeah. The middle. That's why I did it on this one. I did on, but it's not both sides. It's just on the one side. Oh so. yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, I don't know how you got it to line up so well. You did really good. Yeah, it was a. It took me a long time. I recorded it, but I just it's just in the draft folder. I never released it, but. Yes, I know that feeling. There's so many. Or I'll like start to make a reel, and then I'll just like, oops, all finished. Yeah. 
and I just never post it. Man, making reels is so time consuming. It's I don't almost know. It's like a job, honestly. It, yeah, I understand now why people have um, social media mar like marketing managers. Mm -hmm. But what I don't understand about that, because I would totally hire somebody. So if anybody has any um, info, let me know. Yeah. But if you hire somebody, but I would still have to provide all the content, what am, yeah. what am I paying them for? Yeah. They're just posting it for you, I guess, and replying to comments. But they're not going to know, like, needle yeah. size and stuff, you know? Yeah. Um. I don't know. It's probably better for people that with that only have, like, products. Based. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I think that, that you're right. It would like, be a lot, um, like, more straightforward if it was just product. Yeah. So for mine, I'm just marking where the just making little tick marks because I'm going to be quilting all over. I know that you're doing a design, but if anybody tries this, I'm just marking where that flap or where the um, decaville ends on the flap and the bottom section so that I know where to stop my quilt lines. Nice. Okay. I can see where mine is adhered. <laughs> all right. This is the outside. All right. I wonder. Okay. So I am not gonna. Hmm, let's think how I'm gonna do this. I think I'll just do one on the bottom. So when I'm like this, just for like the bottom corner, maybe on one Ooh. of them. Oh yeah, like coming out of the corner and not a round one. Yeah, because I already have these guys installed and so it's just like too much going on up here for my path. Yeah. But yeah, I'm just gonna do the bottom. That's gonna be super cute. I, like it. I think it's, we're gonna love it. Oh yeah, Paula, good, good idea. Paula said, everybody hit the like button. Oh yes, like and subscribe, subscribe. other, yeah. It always feels weird to like say that. Like, I know. I just learned how to do animations in Canva. So like my logo jumps in frame and then I have like the like and subscribe thing that pops up now. But yeah, I always feel like such a goober. Like, like and subscribe. I know, I'm like, but I really need you to do it, please. Yeah, it helps. It helps. It really does. Okay. All right, let's see. Tori said that she's got, okay. Tori yeah. said we do a combination of the community management posting strategy. If you capture content, we also do all the editing of it to create the short. Oh. Yeah, okay. Tori also will edit, um, I think they edit YouTube videos. Oh, Tori, will you send me an email? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, um, saved in my back pocket for the day I can afford that. Yes, I can't confirm that I can afford it, but we can chat for sure. Like both channels, I want you to catch all the comments. Thanks. Um, we are fabric hoarders, not fabric thieves. Horrible experience. Ah, yes, you're right, Kelly. Exactly. That's what we need a shirt for that, too. Like, no, I'm not stealing. Yeah, right. Uh, Mary said, how do you avoid the card slots when you quilt? So, Mary, we're only quilting the exterior and the lining right now. Our card slots will go on after we quilt. Yep. So, yep, that's how we're avoiding that. Um... And then, let's, oh my God, your dog set off my Pomeranian. Yes, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't even know what they saw. The, the neighborhood cat. We live with two cats and these dogs act like they've never seen a cat a day in their life. It's so annoying. Oh, almost dropped you. So I just drew a line with a chalk marker thing for where, I mean, I'm, I like the silver marking pens, but they get messy. Well, that, and if I found on cork, if you don't wipe it off within a timely and a timely manner, it will leave slight marks. Yeah. I don't think people pick up on it unless it's on black, but again, yeah. you know, being the makers, we see that stuff. Yep. Do I need that? Is this light? I don't know if this light's helpful or a hindrance. I'll leave it like that. All right. So I'm just going to go for it. Hey, Clemmy. Clemmy just came to visit. She's scared of the broom. The broom? Oh, yeah. She's scared of everything. You can hold like a soda can just like with volition toward her and she'll run away. <laughs> <coughs> All 
And I don't know if everybody noticed, but Salvador's here with us today. He's holding down the fort. Hello, cutie. Okay. Quilting the Juno. How exciting. All right. I just drew a couple lines to get my web before. That's going to be so cute. I hope so. We'll see. I don't know. <laughs> Only one way to find out. Yeah. So I'm going to change back to my regular foot. Whoa, so right off my panel. All right, so Oh, yeah, she's nice and stiff now. Oh, I love that. I always have to be careful, otherwise, I'll end up um, stitching stars. Right. Okay. Yeah, I oh, there is a star, actually. There's a big star right there. Oops. Whatever. All right. Fine. Now for the flap. I don't. No. I um oh my thread's messing up. No. Um I don't do a whole lot of markets anymore. I am doing one next weekend. Um it's my local farmers market. Mm -hmm. It's their like opening spring fling. So I'm doing that one, but I've gotten very particular about markets that I do, mostly because I'm lazy. Um <laughs> But I also don't like to be too hot or be too cold. I'm like a house cat. I just need everything to be perfect. Yeah. They are um, hard. They are hard to do. It's so much work. And I don't mm -hmm. know that people realize it until you start doing them. And you just repeat the same thing 500 times. Um, I do love going to markets because I get to meet people. And that's my favorite part of it. But right. I have to. It has to be worthwhile. And... If I'm being frank, you know, since COVID, people spend their money differently, which I totally understand. I do the same thing. And right. I know that my stuff is not a necessity. It's a luxury. So, yeah. But I do show up and show out occasionally. But uh, teaching has definitely been my my focus the last couple of years. Which is fun to get back to my roots since that's what I yeah. do. Yeah. Well, you're a great teacher, so. Oh, thanks. I had a lot of fun teaching out at um so expo and Puyallup as well. It was really cool to meet. The West oh. Coasters. Yeah. That was a fun one. I'm definitely going to be going back to that one. And I'm trying to get into um, the original. So, so they're, the names of them are so similar. I know, Let's, right? I'm like, which one is this one now? Yeah, I get them all confused. But that one, I applied for Dallas and Cleveland. Um, I still haven't heard anything back, but I'm hopeful that I'll get into those as well. It's... 
I've been doing so magical for so long. I love it. I've gotten so comfortable and so much fun. And yeah. so it's really, it's kind of, it, it's like starting a new job, teaching at a different convention. Yeah. Which is good for like the mind for me. Mm -hmm. Static is not good for me. I'm wondering if I should like quilt up the sides because it's just like the top and the bottom, but I wonder, cause I've got some like room. Only way to know is to do it. I know. I'm just wondering if it would be weird if it's. I don't think it would look weird. That's what you're worried about. Spider webs are a little more involved than I thought, so. <laughs> I'm yeah, you've got there. all the curves in there. Yeah, I'm not even on that part yet. I'm getting there. Because all we have to do is stitch everything together. And then the wrist strap. Are you adding a wrist strap to yours? Actually, I am. I did cut it. So hopefully I have time to do that. Oh, yeah. We ain't got nothing but time. Mm -hmm. see if there's any comments. Tori, how's your foot feeling, Nicole? Um, it's pretty good. I'm doing good. I was saying earlier, the coloring is, um, is something it looks like I put my foot into like a, a vat of permanent marker ink and I can't get it off. It's like a zombie foot. It's like black and blue and yeah. just colored. So it's, it's real pretty, but it feels pretty okay, which is the problem. Cause I'm just walking on it a bunch, but, um, it's fine. It's just a dumb, dumb, dumb thing that I did. I'm too old to pull shenanigans like that. Uh, Mary said, our dogs go nuts over the pigeons in our backyard. Yeah, Mary, so we have cats in the front yard. Well, in, we have like neighborhood cats. Um, and then the squirrels, Joppa, Joppa is such a ding dong. I love him, but there's not a whole lot going on up here. He's really smart, but he just... yeah. I don't, I don't know what it is. He's just a silly guy. He like sits on his butt and he's just, his mannerisms are really strange, but he tries to chase the squirrels up the tree and he'll fall like backwards. It's hilarious. Oh, no. Yeah. It's funny to watch, but I mean, it just, I'm like embarrassed for him. Like yeah. you too also make dumb decisions. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, speak of them. Uh, Karen, I, it is wrapped. I do have it wrapped. I've been on, I went to urgent care and they, they told me to stay off of it and wrap it. And so one out of two ain't bad. Not staying off of it. Um, link to Amber's channel, please. Let me grab that for you, Carol. I think people, I think I did it, maybe. Did somebody get it? Oh. Uh, Karen said I can't do a link, but uh, the channel's name is Crafty Reporter. Let's see. Crafty oh, Reporter. you know what? Uh, maybe I thought I put it on there. I got it. Okay, cool. If you don't follow Amber on Instagram, you should. She's we prolific. <laughs> she puts stuff out left and right. She's always on her stories. And she does that. captions now for those of us that are watching late night. I know. I do. I'm trying. Sometimes I forget, but I do try. You're doing great. I'm so close to 5K on there, too. Great. You're so close to what? 5K. Oh, Ooh, my. yeah. That's Oh, I did see that. Oh. You're like 4,800 or something. Yeah. Very exciting. Okay. Yes, I, she has her ankle wraps right now. All right. I'm just going to do my swoops, so BRB. You are good. I'm trimming mine down because I ended up with three different measurements somehow. I think I'm going to have to do... And I have to get messy here. Oh, tilt you down. Can you just like um, ad lib it? Or you got to draw it um, out? I probably could, but I do like to draw stuff. It's fine. I'll just have to get the water in the rag. Yeah, that is the nice thing about the silver marking pens with the a decent scrub usually you can get them off i don't know about vinyl yeah it comes off as long as i wipe it off pretty quick 
And this is where he left is your friend. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Marion said, I love Amber's funny faces. Oh, oh yes, um, definitely go subscribe to her channels too. Um, I actually really I don't know how I have a job, to be honest with you, because I try not to make faces in court. I'm not supposed to because you can like influence the jury and stuff. They they're watching me the whole time anyways, usually because I'm right by them, but uh, well, I, and what you do is sorcery. That's so crazy, that machine. Yeah, that is wild. You, yeah, so I, how long is schooling for that? You know what? It really depends on how long it takes you. Um, I've known people that get done in six months. I know people that get done in, uh, you know, four. it took me four years, but I took a year off in there. You can do it all online now. It's pretty rad. I'm just remembering, I remember in uh, middle school, we had to do like a mock trial and we had like the prosecutor and the defendant and the, the yeah. you know, all the people. And uh, I was the court reporter and I was that and a meteorologist were like the two other jobs that I wanted growing up. It is a really good job. I can't complain. Is it like x-ray tech where you get taken care of if you get a good job, but it's kind of like a slim field, like you don't have a whole lot to choose from or? No, the thing is there's always court reporters that are needed. Um, and if you want to work in court, you can work in court. All your captions on TV for the most part are a court reporter. Oh, um, really? Yeah, huh. so that's a an, that's an ho from home option. And um, you could go around with like the deaf and hard of hearing to their classes and write the class so they can read it and participate. Wow. Yeah, there's really a lot of different options. Huh. I never would have thought, but of course it's like, because it's shorthand, so you can do it in real time. Yeah. So it's, uh, I work in court. You can also work uh, in like the Senate. I wanted a federal job, so I had retirement and stuff. Yeah. Have you ever like gotten um, sidetracked like squirrel and then messed up or? The thing is no, because I write real time. So as the words are being said, I'm writing them. My software program to translate it to English and then you can read it on a screen. And that's what my judge reads. So I have to kind of pay attention. I'm probably the one person that is paying attention to everything. Yeah. But my job is kind of muscle memory. So when yeah. I heard, I don't even think about it. I just boop. Boop, boop, boop. If I hear a phrase, like my brain knows like, oh, good morning. I write that in one stroke. I don't even think about it. So you can kind of, your brain can wander. You yeah. Know? But it's muscle memory, so it's okay. But, you know. So can you, on your keyboard, can you like do shortcuts yourself? Um, yeah. So on my steno keyboard, there's only 22 keys. Okay. And three of them are S. And so the left side of my machine is the beginning sound of a word the vowels are down on the bottom and the right side of the keyboard is the ending sound of a word so an example is cat on a regular keyboard it's three strokes c-a-t on mine i do the initial k for the cuff sound the a and then the final t and i hit it at one time so that's how it can be faster it's phonetic writing so do you have problems like going from your seno uh keyboard to a regular keyboard i don't but i do so have problems turning it off so i yeah. drive home in the quiet a lot i don't listen to music because my brain will constantly try to write yeah like, the song you know or whatever oh my gosh you're like the people in the movies that has like the actual inner monologue yeah I do. Oh my. Yeah. yeah i could i could see how that would become like um maddening yeah it does uh, yeah so even my kids are like no music today i'm like dude <laughs> no music i, worked, I wrote i wrote eighty thousand strokes today i'm good you guys i listened out that's so wild so it's a phonetic keyboard yeah so like you know when you learn uh growing up like bakery is two bakery it's kind of like that i write bakery huh but then you get short forms like words and phrases you hear all the time it's like I'm going to write, ladies and gentlemen of the jury. My judge says that every time she comes in. So I just write, and that's one stroke. Crazy. Mm -hmm. That's so wild. It's, that's a whole other, like, language. It is. Yeah, it is. That's why it just depends how long it takes you, how much work you put into it. 
to learning it. It's just memorization. Wild. Well, I'm I'm sure you see a lot of very crazy things. Did you know the judge and that the guy who jumped over the bench? Yes, um, that happened over in our state court. So yeah, that was wild. Yeah, and he just got like more time, and he came in looking like um, uh, Hannibal Lecter. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we just had somebody recently. They uh, spit on their attorney, which that's the kind of shenanigans you have in state court. That doesn't usually happen in federal court. Well, yeah, federal is like more blue collar crime, right? Yeah. Well, we have a lot of guns and drugs, unfortunately. And the ones that drive me nuts are the uh, illegal alien found unlawfully in the United States. Oh, gosh, those ones drive me nuts personally, but um, especially when they weren't doing anything wrong. Well, so they take them to federal, I guess. Yeah, federal that was... to get deported. Yeah. Wow. You go to ICE, but you also get a you get a criminal felony. So then, if you try to come back, you can't come back. You you yeah, you won't be able to come back. And then if you come back and you get caught, then they lock you up for even longer every time. It's oh, really nice. Sad. I know it's sad. It makes me sad. Yeah. yeah. I mean, yep, that's broaching this topic that we said we're not going to talk about. Okay, so, so yeah, well, let's not. Sorry. <laughs> no, no, you're good. I don't want to ruin everybody's day with my opinions. <laughs> All right, let's see. Paula said, Nicole, would a fabric pen on a layer of Mod Podge work for edge coating? I don't know. A you fabric pen. Do you mean like a, like a paint marker or what do you, what exactly do you mean? I think it would depend on if it was oil based or acrylic. I think acrylic would end up chipping without a top coat. Oil might work better, but you might run into the same issue. I think the big thing with edge coat that makes it different than painting is edge coat is flexible. Oh, that's so, true. Huh? So it's meant to be able to fold. Ooh, I just folded my way wrong direction. But it's meant to be able to be really pliable on folds. And I have some wallets and things that I've edge coated years and years ago, and it still doesn't crack or anything. But, you know, like this is under a lot of stress, that fold right there. Yeah. And so I think that if you were using other options, you might see some cracking. But I'm an F around and find out type of gal, so you never know until you try. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> We're yeah. similar. I'm like, oh, I'll try it. Yeah, I mean, I'll. That's how I have drawers full of random stuff that I'll never use as well. But it's yeah. most of the time stuff works if you research enough. Um, you can really find some some cut throughs. But I will say I've used Mod Podge as base coat. It does work, but it dries like a nail polish. So it's really hard mm -hmm. and it didn't chip, but it wasn't as pliable, but yeah. you can use it. But so when it dries, it's really slick. So whenever you're trying to put your color on top of it, like your Giardini or your uh, Mojo Sews or just any, any standard base coat, it's a lot slippery or more. It's a lot more slippery than uh, the polymer based base coat. Okay, I'm just wiping off my. Oh, it's not pretty good. I had a couple rogue stitches where I started in the wrong spot, but it's for me, so it's fine. I'm gonna move my camera and plug in. I was listening to a podcast before we got started. It was so funny, but I knew it was just like zapping my battery. There's my all oh, cute. Oh, let me see. Let's do it again. Ooh! Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Yeah, that worked out good. Let's see, I got a couple comments here. Yeah, Elizabeth. Um, the thing is, it depends. You have to message me. The company that your firm may use might be one where it's not reporter friendly. And so reporters won't work for them kind of deal Does that makes sense so they don't have access to the reporters because the reporters when you do depositions they're like the pre-trial interviews those people are in contracts they're not employees so you know they just have to they have enough reporters on hand if not and if they don't it's because they probably don't have good reporter practices and payment and stuff so 
Has the judge recovered? Yeah, she's fine. That was such mayhem. There's all those people behind the bench and like nobody was doing anything. Yeah. Well, it's funny because the person that was punching and trying to, that poor kid, the law clerk was the one that was trying to, ah. Yeah, that was just a mess. And now that guy is just, I mean. Yeah, he messed up. Yeah, yep, even worse off. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we're ready to add our card slots. Yay. So because mine, I don't know how I did this, but mine, I have excess. I think I cut my main exterior panel almost a whole quarter inch more narrow than the rest okay um it'll work fine because i did work in all that extra room for cards um to slide into here but just so you know guys everybody messes up their cutting and i was even using a laser so we're gonna do that but i didn't cut my linings in my exterior with the laser right. the the outline i just cut the zipper box and stuff but oh. yeah but so now we're just going to measure up a half inch from the bottom and then okay. put it in place and for this i normally just use clips but you could totally we could stick with what we've been doing and glue or, or uh tape it i'm just thinking oh yeah i think i'm gonna get my tape here well we have to be a little careful though right because it's our cash pocket yeah, so if you're going to tape, I would only tape right across this bottom section right there. Like right on the middle. The middle, yep. Yep. Okay, yeah, mine's too short, too. <laughs> <laughs> we must have been on the same page. Yeah, let me go turn it over. Karen said, so pretty, Amber, your stitches are gorgeous. Yes, she did so good. Thank you. Okay. Oh, and Cindy said that Michelle Graham uses a Sharpie pen to edge coat. Cindy, what? Does, uh, who is Michelle Graham? What's her YouTube? Or does she have a YouTube? Oh. The dogs are so, um, like, unexercised right now too because I can't walk them. Yeah. So they're just more on edge than ever. <laughs> but yeah, so you might hear some barking because I see the male lady coming. Um, but Kathy, I saw that you asked. I'm doing good. I won't be jumping on any, any trampolines anytime soon, but I'm doing all right. The last time I broke this same foot, um, I was jumping on a trampoline and I broke my cast. Fun oh. fact. All right, so now we're going to do our fancy measurements. Okay. I'm just adding one more layer here of a web. Ooh, yeah. Because I just wanted the web to go all the way to the edge. I don't know why I thought, like, a cattywampus web was cool, but oh, we're good. Oh, I like your shirt. I just caught that. Oh, yes. my um, I went to the musical. The Beetlejuice musical was so good. I love Beetlejuice. It's always been Beetlejuice and Drop Dead Fred have always been my favorite since childhood. Yeah. Um, I'm so excited for the new Beetlejuice movie. Me too. I'm so excited. I when told they my get, was we it? 
I just told my, I told, I was like, we're going the day that friggin' movie opens. We're going to watch it. Yeah. I never do like movie premieres, but I'm going to make Brandon go. The fact that it's original cast too is just incredible. I'm interested to see what they do with the storyline. I hope it's not like hokey, but, um, yeah, it should be good. I'm, I'm so excited. I actually have a, a Beetlejuice painting back here and like a, um, what is it called? Whatever you stitch embroidery. I have an embroidery yeah. and it says Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I love it so much. Yeah. Right. Uh, ah. Maribel said, my husband has Nicole's bifold wallet with edge coating for the past three years. And it looks great. Yeah. They, um, edge coating will hold up. Even if you put it through hell, it, it really will. Heidi said, I was only a juror one time. And of course it was a murder case. Oh my God. Yeah. That's like the nightmare. It seems cool, like in um, as an idea, but I was called for jury duty too, and it was a murder case. And I was like, I do not want to decide this person's fate. Yeah. Yeah, I bet you see a lot of like real time come down on people too, because you're doing federal. Mm hmm. I sure do. Oh, here comes Druzy. Don't show your. Censored. Okay. Yep, sorry. <laughs> okay. Okay. Just okay. face forward, Jersey. Face forward. There we go. This is the wrong show for that. Yeah. She's clocking in. She's here. Nurse Ratchet is on duty. Love it. Aww. Okay. Got mine mm -hmm. on now. Now we can do our stitching around, right? Yep. Did you already do yours? Nope. Okay. I'm about to draw my uh, little tick marks, though, so that I know where. Okay. I loved the tip with putting the double stick tape on the back of the card slots on the side to hold them all down. It makes it a lot easier whenever you're doing these later steps, for sure. Yeah. But that's where I had shifting my first time. So this is, I don't have any now. Although this is a thick, a thick one. Okay. Yeah, I think that's why these types of videos are fun. I used to not see the value in them because I didn't, uh, until I really started watching them as somebody who needed help with certain patterns. And yeah. then you just, just through talking, people just say stuff and you're like, oh, I never even thought about that. So yeah. it's fun to do these because random stuff comes up like that. Yep. So I have mine all marked up. So I'm going to go to my machine and get, okay. I'm going to start on my top and stitch down and around. You ready, Jersey? Get some work done. Be a slightly different angle because I had to plug my phone in. So we'll see. Let's see what we can do. I'm just making my fancy mark. That's kind of a cool angle. Sal, Sal, Sal's just sleeping his little life away back here. I am like to the age where I cannot see through these glitter rollers. Oh, yeah, some of them are a little challenging. I just got this one from Lauren at, uh, in Washington, and I love this one. There isn't glitter in it, but it's just variegated um, teal okay. to purple ombre. And this is this is the one for me, because I kind of have a challenge with my other one, too. I need, like, this bright-ass. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I have one of How those, too. I <laughs> I'm older than you. What are you talking about? Oh. Yep, see, you better watch it. Oh,
live sewing better is if you could have music. Because I was literally just thinking the same thing. Because I wouldn't be listening to music. Lauren said that sometimes she'll have a AirPod in. Yeah, I don't know. I I would end up singing, and that won't be good for anybody. Yeah. I'm ready to stitch. What'd you say? I'm just starting my stitching now. I'm ready. All right. Put up to you finally. Pull my purple out of the way. Yeah, I was literally just sitting here thinking about that too. I'm like, the it's just a bummer because we'll get um, licensing. I know. I had somebody make a claim on one of my videos. Oh, really? But I didn't. I it was a song I had purchased rights to use for YouTube, but uh, it's a nightmare. It, there's really no way to fight that. If some anybody can make a claim, there's not really a way to get it reversed. Yeah, one time I used um, a free whatever. Yeah, and then they said just put the put this link in your da 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 in your description. I did all that, and they still pulled it for um whatever licensing yeah. copyright then, infringement. Then you have to give like part of your revenue share was mine, so like they made money off of my video. I'm like, cool. You're yeah, we're already my four dollars. Thank you. Exactly. <laughs> Okay, let's see. What kind of use? What kind of needles? You are using what brand of needles? I'm using um, not that one. I'm using Schmetz Universal size 18. You can also get like leather needles, but I always end up using Schmetz because they're just so readily available. What do you use in yours, Amber? Uh, it's a name I cannot pronounce. <laughs> No, it's it's Graz Becker. Oh, the blue ones. Mine are mine are green. They're size oh. nineteen. Yeah. They come in a big old pack from Amazon. I have it linked in my Amazon store. If anyone. Let's see what kind. Of, oh, we did that one. So are you going to have a hard time sewing around to your sewing around your magnetic snaps because you had to use the big boys? Um, I don't think so. I did move them in. Oh, okay. I have it just because I thought of that. Um, well, I'm trying to pull in my flap a little bit, but I added the stabilizer on there. So I think... I guess we're about to find out. Yeah, we're just experimenting. But I hope I don't have it. If I do, I guess I'll just... I don't think it doesn't feel like I will. Well, yeah, if you pulled them in a half inch, I would think that should be more than enough. Yep. Ooh, hoo, hoo. She's cute. What do we think of this angle, people watching? Friends watching. I feel like this is a decent angle. I don't know if you can see more or less, but it seems like that's. It looks good to me. Yeah. I'm enjoying it. Perfect. Oh, Jersey, are you being cute? Excuse me. Yeah, it's totally fine. My snaps are good. <clears throat> um, Heidi said, do you use any specific brand of double-sided stick tape? I just use the Weft and Warp one. But because yeah. I, when I buy my, I usually put an order in every month at uh, Reno. And I just add it. At where? At Mormino in Florence. Oh, Mormino. I thought you, yeah. I didn't, I didn't understand what you said. Um, yeah, the warp and weft. Now they have the, it's, you can tear it, right? Yeah. Yeah. So I have a mixture. I like the hyper stick 
from Waywack is really good, but it is hyper sticky. You cannot rip it. And then uh -oh. um, I just ordered, Waywack has a non hyper stick, which I didn't know. So I ordered a roll to find, to test that one out. And it is similar to like the warp and weft, but I think warp and weft or weft and warp, whatever it is, theirs is better quality, but yeah. um, it's nice. I love that you can tear it, but if you're looking for something to be like almost permanent, that hyper stick is, is some I good used stuff. To the Tandy one, but then I just switched to support a small shop. So yeah, that's, yeah, that's a good, it's a good thing. Yeah. All right, I'm almost done here. Where am I? Second. You started down here. Okay. Look how pretty. Cute. I love that. I need to do that. I need to be adventurous and do my. Uh... Um. Hello. You should do a Beetlejuice one. Oh my gosh. But since you like to do really bright colors, I'll do a muted Beetlejuice. And you could do like a vivid Beetlejuice, but yeah, the black and white and green card slots would be so good with like a striped outer. Yes. That's and you know what would make idea. it better if it glows? Yeah. Yes. That's so fun. And then you could even do like it's showtime on the flap. Okay. I'm embroidering that. I'm doing it. We're doing okay. it. That's going to be a thing. That'll be so fun. It will. Oh, uh, Paula, thank you. Good to know. Yeah, I like that angle, too. And it keeps the camera out of my face, which is nice. Yeah. Getting the, like, point of view that is really useful for sewing. I love it when you can see as if you're the one sewing it. But it's I was hard. Like, I feel like I'm heavy breathing into the camera the whole time. and That's me. I'm like, my nose and so my glasses slip down. And then I'm, like, whistling out of my nose. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> Yeah, that's when it's right there. It's there's like it's very intense. Um, but so I think I'll I'll move to the back of the machine too. Um, Paula said amber D ring question mark. I do. I am gonna do a D ring rivet, a rivet D ring. Yeah, we're gonna use these little guys. Yep. They're kind of hard to see. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, these are we're gonna use those guys. Um, just because they're easy. Oh, they're so easy. And they're just like cute too. Yeah. Um, Marion said, can I see your quilting again, Nicole? Yes. It's kind of hard to see from this angle because I, it's not contrast thread, but here's the flap on here, but I covered it up. It's down in there, but okay. just kind of uh, all my all over crazy quilting. I love your all over crazy quilting. Let's see what do we got here. I love the Graz Beckert needles. Okay. Mm. Amber's Instagram, Sandy, Andy's, um, Amber's, let me, I guess your name is Andy now. Amber's Instagram. I'll pull it up for you real quick. But she's just at the crafty reporter, um, at the dot crafty dot reporter. Yeah. The Done. Oh, this is so classy. I got well, so we've got homework. We have to do Maker's Mafia. Now we have to do Beetlejuice Junos. Yep. Beetle Junos. Okay, so I've got the link. Honestly, but Junos because BJ like Beetlejuice. Oh yeah, but you know. That's okay. I'm very excited. Now I'm gonna have to like I'm going to be thinking about it. I mean, I can get lime green core. Yeah, they, there is a nice lime green out there. I'm liking this. It's going to be fun. All right, so I'm going to angle back down. I'm going to trim up. I've got some. Yeah, I got a little bit to do here. Some weird overhang here. But that's the other good thing about edge coating is you can really hide a lot of these imperfections. Yep. I didn't have too many. It was pretty good this time. How is it feeling? I know that you were wondering if it was going to be too thick. 
Um, so I love structured things. I love that personally, and I love the way it feels. So Perfect. it's really good. Yeah, this one is like super stiff. And then when there's going to be, when there's cards in it, it's going to have really nice structure. Yeah. I need to install. Oh, yeah. See, so here, this is really quality cork. And as soon as I folded it over this hard fold, it pulls what it, it pulls the print off of the cork. And that's where the cracking comes from. That's actually the, the ink that's cracking. It's not the actual, it's not the cork itself. But I just wanted to show you guys. It happens even to quality cork. Um, I'm going to install my snaps. Okay. And I always like to wait until the end because then I just like make yeah. indentions. And yeah, go from there. I'm going to close mine. And you don't, like you said in your um, pattern, don't be um, kind of, you know, mush it around. Yeah, you are stronger than the wallet. Handle it. That's right. Tell it, tell that wallet what it's doing. You're the boss. I'm the boss. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that turned out pretty dang cute. Oh. Oh my gosh, it's adorable with the thread. And then we got a little witch's brew and a cat because why not? Oh my gosh, that's adorable. I love the black on black with the orange thread. Yeah, that's fun. I, I'll do that again. That turned out great. All right, let me. Okay. And I do like the snaps in a little bit. That was nice. Yeah, so... I might try that next time just to see. It helps the flaps stay down a little bit from the middle. Not mine because I use the fattest uh, magnetic snaps ever, but. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm using my stash. I'm trying to be better about it. I tried so many different ways to get the, the middle to not bow. And yeah. I've just found that with use, it settles in. But it's short of putting a third snap. Yeah, um, that's, yeah. And I just feel like that might be overkill. I mean, you could even get by with just one snap, but then your your, your edges, then you'll have wings. Woo. That's a cutie. I like this. I will do this again for sure. They came out so good. They really did. All right, now I need my D ring. Yes. Oh, dang it. You know what I forgot to do? I always forget to put my. Oh, no. That's the laser did it for me. Lucky duck. Yeah, all right. Next time. Next time. Well, I mean, you can like just pick your stitches and add it. Nah, that's it's just for me, anyways. I always do forget it, though. I know, me too. That's why I like to do all of that beforehand because. I will forget. The yeah. good thing with the laser is you can do it afterward. I'm still a little apprehensive to do that, but yeah, I used to have stickers, like wooden stickers, and they were my favorite because you would just make everything and then just put the lo the label on at the very end. But eventually, it would um, like peel off because it was wooden. But okay, so D ring. What side? I always do mine on the right side. I don't know why. On the right. Oh, do you do yours on the left? Up. It's weird, those those like odd preferences. Also, this would be so easy to do too, and then you'd have a little Hey girl. <laughs> I love that. Yep. Maybe I should put two. Yeah, I'll do one. I feel like if I do two on this one, I'm gonna have to go back and do two on all the rest that are for sale. I know. It is a really good idea to do two though. Eh, I'll just. Oh my. And then do you put your actual D ring on the outside or do you put it on the inside? I put it on the inside. Me too. Yeah. I think it could be cute on the outside too, though. It, because it it's just a cute work, piece yeah. of hardware. I lost my hole puncher. How do I do that? I have no clue. All right. <laughs> Let's see about where I'm going to do it here. Mm. 
Cute. I love those little guys. Oh, excuse me. In your way. All right, I'm going to do my wristlet start real quick. I'm almost there with you. Just putting on my D-ring. Whoa, Drizzy, don't fall off the table, jeez. <laughs> we Wanging have a flopper. Swinging that booty around. Um, Salvador, he is a fan. He sleeps, like, on the top of the couch and on the armrests. And he has been known to, in a dead sleep, just fall off the couch. Oh, my goodness. I don't think my cat's done that yet. Yeah, <laughs> I, he's just, I guess he just gets so deep in his sleep. He'll just roll right off. Knocked out. Yeah. I can't remember if he's, I mean, certainly he's landed on his feet. I don't know. It's behind the couch, so I don't ever see it. All right. I have the ring. Oh, don't actually bite oh. it, Jersey. Jeez. What size rivets are those, and where did you buy the dye? Whom are you speaking with, Alexa? Whomst. I don't even know if that's a word. Um, I, my dye is, uh, from gold star and I've had it for so long. I couldn't tell you, but I will say I have a bigger dye and I, as long as the, the, uh, cap is smaller then mm -hmm. I use it for everything. I think it's kind of a, a scam. Yeah. They try to sell you a dye for each set. Mine is, this is, this is just, I think like a 12 maybe. Yeah. I did the same thing. I got the yep. biggest. So I'm like, I'm not going to change it out every time. And this one, though, I did get this one from Snap Tools or something. It's oh. overseas. Just this one, because it has, like, this little rubber piece. And I find that I don't scrape my um, rivets as much. Yeah, I think mine, I think I got a 10. Because um, this was just the first. I had no idea what I was doing when I yeah, bought this. Yeah, me either. Thing. Yeah, I think I got a 10. Please? And yeah, it works for almost everything. But if you try to press a rivet that's bigger than this, it's going to dent it. Yeah. Um, I mean, it'll work, but it'll just dent it. And I never know until I do it. And I'm like, oh, great. Yeah. Better rip that one out. But yeah, so I got my presses from Gold Star. People are very team Gold Star, team not. They're very contentious. I've never, I personally never had an issue with my press. Where'd you get yours from? Cam Snaps. Okay. Yeah. And see, that. so they look the same, but the difference is with these presses is their um their threads and their base widths that's the big difference and they're not interchangeable so when you pick one and you got to buy all your stuff from them yeah not your hardware but your set your dies yeah okay we just got to make our wristlets drop and we know yep and edge paint later karen said the snap tools dies are very economical um, yeah, I would say I, for some reason, I held out on buying a press almost the longest prior to my, uh, my heat press. And these two things have definitely been some of the biggest tools that I, I mean, I use them the most and, but the press for sure, if you're doing any type of rivets, just you're, make the investment, spend the 70 bucks. If you're making bags, you're going to use rivets eventually. Mm -hmm. Well, even just if you're making wallets, you're going to use rivets. So just do it. Yeah, and you can now, you know, I ordered the the spring snaps. I had no idea what I was ordering, but I just matched the die to the size. And now I use spring snaps on everything. And they're so fun. So, yeah, a press is definitely, I mean, I find them so useful. I got another one. They're right? definitely, yeah, definitely nice up too. Yeah, definitely the, the, one of the best tools I've invested in, in my studio. And the snap tool dies do work on the can snap. Yeah, that's I started buying the snap tool ones um, because I wanted that rubber piece because mine mm -hmm. doesn't come with the rubber piece on the top. So I did buy a, a die set online a couple of years ago and I it was the wrong threaded size. So I don't I haven't personally found a, a, a third party, but uh, I'm hopeful the dies can be expensive. They are an investment, but it's so worth it. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go sew this bad boy up. Do you just do it in thirds? Yep. So I folded it in thirds, and then I'm just going to stitch all around all four sides. Okay. And then you rip it to 
What I is this? Maribel, what is this? I've never seen this before. A super sticker? What is this? I don't know what this is, but thank you. I think you got a little tip there. Is that what it is? I think it's like a tip, yeah. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I Thanks. I have no idea. I was like, what is this bright pink bar across the top? How That's fun. exciting. Yay. Thank you. All right. So it looks like Tammy said Oakland Roots has a package deal with Cam Snap. So yeah, if you're looking to invest, maybe check out Oakland Roots, see what her deal is. And then Hollow Bag. Hollow Bag, I'm pretty sure I know your name, but I don't want to get it wrong. So I'm not going to say it unless you tell it's me. It's Nikki. Okay. That's what I thought. I, yeah. I can't trust it's this. hard to match the names with the company. It is. Well, and yeah, we've been uh, hanging for a long time, but I just never, I never trust it. I never, I'm like, that's not right. Yeah. Maribel, it is on your YouTube on the left side. Well, thank you so much, Maribel. That's very nice. I'm really happy you guys all hung out with us today. We've been having fun. Yeah. I learned a lot today. Me too. I've got a lot of fun collab stuff to do now, which is really exciting. I'm really excited for the shirts. <laughs> do what? I'm very excited for the shirts. Me too. Somebody said so it was mob or mafia makers, mafia mob, something. It was a lot of alliteration mob, and mob, mob life or something. Yeah. I have to scroll no, back and yeah. see what that said. <coughs> I don't want to speak too soon, but I think it only takes one bobbin or less than one bobbin. Um, for my machine, yeah, it's a one bobbin wallet. You said it is or it isn't? It is, yep. Even with my uh, stitching. That's been the one thing that I didn't consider whenever I switched over to the thicker threads is that I don't get nearly as much bobbin time because oh, my yeah. bobbins are small. But yeah, you just learn to have a bunch ready. So yeah, now I can officially confirm less than one bobbin. Well, thanks for coming when you did. It'll be on our channels for watching. I'll go back and we can add in timestamps. Oh yeah. That's a good idea. I try to. If I forget ever and you guys want them, just put a comment. I can I do forget easily. So. Yeah, timestamps are another one of those things that I'm like, it, it just gets lost on my to-do list. Yeah, they are helpful though. They are. I do use them. Your machine kind of sounds like a woodpecker. Yeah. <laughs> it is so fun to go fast on it. I bet. Do you have it set at like the full speed? No, I don't actually. I yeah, couldn't I even imagine. Yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> don't they do like 2,400 stitches a minute or something? Oh my gosh, I think so. Oh yeah. Well, the most they can do is what? 3,450. Oh, that's it? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, right? I haven't said it's like 2,200. I'm actually very excited for this Beetlejuice version. I'm thinking about it. Me too. <laughs> I'm going to have to go. I think I have some glow in the dark striped vinyl actually. I need to, um, I need to do an order anyways. I already have white cork. I definitely have black. So I don't have white vinyl though. 
I might. I'll have to look. I have to go stash shopping. Yep, exactly. I know I've got like a bunch of little, like little rolls up here, but I don't know that I have. I never get super bright colors. Uh, we, we are totally opposite. <laughs> so, I do have the super bright uh, jelly vinyl that I've never used. I think this would make a really cool Juno too. It'd be such an interesting. Oh my gosh. So can I tell you something? I have, okay. I have to still sew it up. I have it all in a bag here. So I love the Triskel as well. And so I'm going to try to make a clear. Ooh. Now, do you don't think that the clear TPU will be sticky on the cards, or how does that feel? No, on the I cards? tested it. We did test that. It is not sticky on the cards. And then I got a shower curtain, and this is oh. going to be my card slot lining. Oh, my God. It's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. So the interior. Yeah. Okay. And so I got, like, a light pink so that it, I was like, it'll look probably really cool because this. Yeah. That's going to be gonna so it. Yeah, that's going to be really cool. I don't, because I don't really sew with anything that's not like a yeah. natural substance, um, I tend not to venture out, but I love the feel of the jelly vinyl and I got it in at one of the conventions. Um, but yeah, it just feels so cool. And then nowadays you need a clear bag to take in places. So I, I've been keeping an eye out for some clear TPU that I want to buy. I'm not sure. I've seen some that are so cute. There's so many to choose from. Honestly, and I'm gonna try. I got these cutting mats from the dollar store. Oh yeah, be my stabilizer. Oh, but you could probably just do a clear, and you can do like a printed placemat. I don't know. That would be fun. Yeah. Hmm. I'm this, excited to see that one. Yeah, this is in my work in progress. On my, I do have to get this one done soon. Oh, that's just, in your your whip. Drawer. Yeah. My whip. I'm gonna try it. I think it'll be cool. Okay, now we have to put on our, oh, you're done. Look at you. I'm doing that right now. And then, of course, we would edge coat, but I have to pee, so I'm going to have yeah. to. And we've been on for a while. But yeah. I will post, once I do edge coat it, I'm not sure what color I'm going to do, but um, definitely we'll have to post photos of the completed projects. We will. Okay. Ow. Well, I've had so much fun with you today. Yes, you too. It's, this has definitely been a lot of fun. We'll do the shopping tote soon. Definitely. So we've got the shopping tote, the Bajuno, what would you call them? Bajuno. Bajuno. The Bajunos. Yep. And then our, so who, we need to look up that mafia, whatever it's called. Yeah. What did that person say? Makers Mafia Mob Life. That's good, Paula. That is good. I'm going to write that down. On one of the bajillion sticky notes I have everywhere. I'll find it eventually. Yep. Makers. You have your machine set at 900 stitches? Yeah. I don't know. I just kind of came. I had to build this machine myself. <laughs> Gosh, that's, yeah, no, I am can't, I can't do that. Yeah, I, yeah, I would not advise it. It's not fun. Do not recommend. Okay, there we go. So I'm trying to see if we missed any. Cindy said she painted her green press to blue. I've been thinking about painting my matte black, of course. Um, yeah. I just haven't done it yet. But Are then, and I would need to buy like a new cushion, or I guess you just don't do a cushion. Maybe I can make one. Yeah, I don't have a cushion. You don't? Mm -mm. No cushion. You so painted not... yours too, though, right? No, I. that's the color it came. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. I've heard of people saying that it can be hard to paint them, but I think as long as you keep... An oil keep slick, the... like a black oil slick would look cool. Ooh, that would be really cool. Or like a... a Brandon, he's building a Harley, and he did... Um, a candy coat on it and he's it's like, like a really pretty it's like root beer flake oh, that would be so nice that would be really fun all right um so before we go would you mind taking an obligatory uh picture with me sure 
we uh it's something we do every now and then. I like that you said would you mind taking it, but it's an obligation. Yeah. Well part of the contract. You have to, you have to. So if everybody's ready. Oh the gold one, Elizabeth. That sounds great. Okay, I'm just gonna hold up my little cutie. You just cut it. <laughs> Hopefully somebody grabbed us. I Where do we look? Oh, it's somebody else to do. I think they all got it. They got it. Who does that? The people watching. And then they post them for us. Oh. <laughs> hey, girl. <laughs> I, I was like, who's taking the picture? I don't know. <laughs> they screenshot it. It's fun. It's oh, fun. that's awesome. Yes. Yeah. Definitely tag us in that because I want to repost yeah, it. Yeah, post it in the group. Oh, Alexis got one. Thank you, Alexis. Oh, good. Okay. Hopefully it's not one where I was like, who's doing that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, some of them are real funny. It's hilarious. I just I, can envision like a collage at the end of the year of all the screenshots. It'd be so fun. Oh, yeah. Like the banner in a sewing group. That would be fun. Mm -hmm. It would be. Awesome. All right, Amber. Well, it's been a real pleasure. Yes, same. Thanks for doing this. We'll do it again soon. I, I'd love to. And I will. Uh, I'm sure we'll be chatting in just a minute. So I'll yeah. talk to you guys soon. Or Thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us. We had a great time. Yeah. Thanks. Bye. Bye, guys.